All right, everyone, and welcome back to Winner Stays In. We had a technical issue there, but hopefully we have it sorted. You guys let me know the feedback in the chat. But I am joined by Veggie because Matt is incompetent. So I had to bring in Veggie to come and give me some assistance. Veggie, talk to me. How are you doing? I'm doing really good. Thank you for the invite, as always. And uh, I heard there were some issues in the start of the stream, but it seemed to be sorted now, at least um, looking at us. So Fingers let's hope crossed. that the game will work that. Yeah. Fingers crossed. But um, so the game works out as, as well. Yeah, like, I mean, listen, we got people in the chat watching, then let us know, please, because I do have the chat open up in front of me mm. but again uh we try to sort out the issues but i don't know because uh, it looks fine on my end it might look fine in your end so mm. please do let us know there but i believe we're going to be jumping straight into it we have nassim claw going up against uh i think it's tkr or it might be will tupac a lot of the french players are using seven so yeah, I don't know like, we're doing like a french special today it's a long time <laughs> since i saw nassim play I feel like he's been kind of away a bit, maybe, since Corona? I don't know. No, he's actually been playing. Uh, he's been dabbling with Vega, Sakura, Seth. Um, I think you probably haven't seen enough of his, probably Vega, I suppose? He plays, yeah, yeah, I haven't seen his Vega. I, I mean, I haven't seen him much online at all. So, personally, well, so I think he's more of that. Yeah, and he has a Blanc already now. Uh, yeah, like he's, he's been using Blanca ever since Blanca came out, or he's dabbling with him. Uh, but I think recently he's been labbing uh, V Skill 2, and it's annoyance because that is probably. Blanca can use either V Skill, but I actually feel this one's probably more annoying. The V Skill 2? Yeah. It's, it feels like kind of like a Sonning tool, maybe? How would you use it? I feel like they use it to keep you out, get the hit. Well, he gets a combo from full screen, right? And yeah, into the free like this one. Ball. Yeah. So it's. Um, it's going to be a case where I think the opponent should probably oh. let him charge up V-Skill 2 if they don't have mm. a move that reaches that far. And then kind of give him the full sense of security that he can use it. So you get a clean jump in, kind of like against Seth's V-Skill 1. Okay, so yes, yeah, you have to jump in on more like a pred prediction then, I guess. Yeah. You know, it's funny because today is the first time I played against Blanca. And that V, uh, I mean that V-Skill from Blanca. So yeah. randomly, some smurf. Maybe it was Nassim Klo, who knows? Uh, could have been, but uh, I couldn't deal with it since it's new maybe, and I don't really maybe. understand it. So it would be nice to maybe have a crash course on how it works. Uh, so there is a non-charged version and a fully charged version of the Shout to Earth. Obviously, the fully charged version has a bigger radius and it comes out instantly. But when you do the non-charged version, you can either forward dash cancel or back dash cancel to kind of bait the jump and do mm. something else. But when he obviously charges it fully, you get the indication on the bottom left or right side, the flashing icon saying it's there. And then that V skill, he now has to commit to it. So okay, he so he has to do it then? Yeah, he has to do it. He can't just charge up and then cancel again. He has to commit to it. Okay, so when it's full, he has to do it. He can't yes. dash out anymore. Yes. Okay, nice. That's uh, it's nice, nice to know. Could have so, needed that earlier today. <laughs> so, right, he's charged it now. So if yeah. he gets a clean hit or not, he has to use the V skill. Mm, he can't nice. like dash cancel or try and bait something. So. Okay, okay. So let's see how he uses it here. Mm. Nassim Claw. I don't know what its frame data is on block, actually. I couldn't tell you. I actually couldn't tell you. There you go. So he's comboed and then... Oh, nice down as well. That's nice. Good stuff. But I, I think I would still play with uh, v skill 1 if I was Blanca. This has so much utility. Yeah, um, I mean, with his uh, trajectory, short jump, because they made it yeah. uh, a shorter hop, or they made it a hop. It's a shorter yeah. jump now in uh, Champion Edition. And I think it's just very annoying for a lot of characters to use their yeah. normal attack anti-airs. So yes, it's special. It's so super half the annoying. Whip anyway, so. Yeah, it seems like they do it, like walk up to you, do it on block, you know it's coming, still you can't stop it with an anti-air. It's a really annoying this skill. But this is the thing, because there's so much unfamiliarity around Blanca, or people aren't committed to yeah. practicing against him, I would say. It's mm. definitely a case where even using V skill 2 should be fine. Because people don't oh, know much yeah. about it. So. And it doesn't seem weak. I just feel like maybe V skill 1 is superior if uh, the opponent is ready for the character. Yeah. I mean, it might be wrong, but that's how it feels to me. But I think they both seem strong. I think he's one of the characters that fits uh, within the V system mm. very well. Both V triggers, both V skills. Uh, his V reversal is decent as well, even on block. So I think Blanca, yeah. a select on character, but I mean, hey, he might be bottom five until he wins the online CBT. I think TKI is dead. That was a crush nah, counter, nice and it's Seth, so. Yeah, Seth there dies. There you have it. Yeah, there you have it. Nice. 
I feel like this Blanca has gotten better than last year at least. It was more of an online Blanca than... But you can't really tell <laughs> since uh, TKR is also playing a sub character, so you won't really know if uh, it's more of the matchup familiarity or if he's actually leveled up. But well, uh, I mean, let's be real here, right? It's, it's a perfect opportunity for the guys to uh, use other characters in preparation for the Western European uh, CPT mm -hmm. that's happened in two weeks' two time. Weeks. Um, and again, we know them very well for their mains. Potentially, maybe it's just a hint that they might be bringing out this second character here and there. So. We will see. Um, mm. Ultimately, is Seth a good pick for TKR? I don't know, but then it's been highly recommended that you at least dabble with Seth anyway. <laughs> Definitely. Do you know what I mean? Because uh, arguably yeah. top three, so it's like, you know, come on, if you're not dabbling with Seth, at least what are you doing? So he's an amazing character. Uh, he's very annoying, but he's uh, uh, annoyingly amazing. Yeah, but I think it's a good pick for TKR because if you see his playstyle, it's chance taking. I mean, he's solid in periods of his game, he's really good. And then periods is like bat crazy. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and, and uh, I can say that, it's not a, it's like, it's legit. Um, but you can see, and that's why I think Seth is a good pick for him, because that character is very aggressive if you want him to. So you can play like, very much like you can do what you want to do. You don't have to think that, be that respectful. So that, in that sense, I think it's a good pick. Yeah, for sure. And then we got Will Tupac stepping up here with that Laura pick, so. He has been causing a little bit of terror within the European yeah. Online tournaments with his Lucia as of recent. Put Seth a bit on the back burner, but we might see him for the online CPT soon. Yeah. But he claims he's going back to Laura. But that's... I think that's a lie because he's having too much fun with Lucia. Uh, Lucia, I, I think I like to pick for him going with Laura, to be honest. So. It's a better character overall. Better character and it fits his style. You know, he's good at finding openings when there are no openings kind of style. So, no, I, I, I like that he's going back to it for the next CPT. I don't know if he played Lucia last time, though. I don't know. I think he played a little bit more of Lucia and Seth last online mm. CPT. Yeah. But obviously, in the recent uh, Salt Mine Leagues and other tournaments that he's entered or playing, a lot of people have been seeing his Lucia. So, yeah. I don't know if that's been a facade for the Laura to come out. I know it, because Laura was his first character. First she character. Five, five, so. mm probably the most experienced and the character is really strong now so it would be bad a dumb of him to not play with it at least oh it gets under that was nice oh i tried to do the reversal mm. up forward didn't work out here gonna be an abundance of damage four will see back again i do i do agree with veggy to some degree that uh, laura is probably a better pick for him especially with Certain French players' play style. Yeah. Uh, Will Tupac, one of the players coming to mind. Laura does suit him. Seth suits him as well, so. Yeah, definitely. And Lucia suits him. Uh, Lucia, the play style, he has a lot more of a hit and run style, I feel, when he plays Lucia, though. I think he's more... the only Lucia that does that. Yeah, and it, I mean, I think it's cool that he saw that. Because it's not a dumb idea. It does work. People get annoyed and people try to overextend. So it's definitely not. Oh yeah, it's, bad it's, it's, it's going everyone. It mm. caught me out at one point. But after he caught me out with that, I told you to back. I said I got something for you next time. Well, <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. The, the elusive play style, the hit and run, does work. We've seen infiltration be uh, successful mm, with it. Exactly. And I think it kind of. Oh, nice. it, it can be rewarding depending on the character in this game, but look, it works for Blanca. He's working for the yeah, team floor right now, yeah. so. Yeah, um, Blanca can always come back for the V trigger too. I think that is, I think that V trigger is really the character right now. Yeah, but uh, Nasty's been using V trigger one for the yeah. most part. Oh, so maybe, it? maybe he would have won this game if he was using V trigger two. I mean, who knows? It's a good V trigger. It's a very good V trigger. The, it's the thing is, a it's kill like V trigger. You die from it. Yeah. Okay. It's probably good that. Veggie took the words right out of my mouth. Yes. <laughs> it's the kill V trigger, so probably what it means die. is it's like yeah. the comeback potential is a lot better. Uh, mm. You can use that as an insurance policy if you go bad. There are some gimmicks with both his V triggers, but it might be more rewarding with the V trigger too. But mm. Nassim, I don't know if he's being a hipster or he generally found something with V trigger one we don't know about. Because I know that uh, Kim1234, shouts to Kim. He does, he has been saying, been vouching for this for a little while, that V trigger one blanker is actually pretty decent. It's just, it gets overlooked. So. Yeah, so I mean, I haven't seen it, so I, I can't really say much. None of the Blankas play with it these days, so... Maybe. That's the thing, we, we, we rarely see Blanka, so... Exactly. We rarely see Blanka, There's but... a Finnish one, that, uh, Vuyo, the Velho. Uh, what's his handle? I think it's VTV. V yeah, on PC. Like yeah, that. yeah. He's, the, the thing he's is, they're catching strong. people out. Yeah, he's gotten strong, but they're, they're, Blankas are catching people out because 
they don't know. Mm. And even on even like tournaments, you didn't see Blanca. Online, you see Blanca like two percent more of the time. Mm. But people are still getting caught out because you oh. don't think you're gonna see him. But we did see him in Japan, right? We did see him in Japan, I think. Uh, and he was actually showing us that even the best of players will get hit by those uh, V-Trigger oh, 1 yeah. thing, oh, V-Trigger sure. 2 things, and it's not just for the gimmick sure. like some of them saying. Because what I see is a lot of like, uh, there's a German Blanca, and they will, uh, and he will say that uh, Blanca is only good if you don't know, but I would assume the best players in the world would know, but they still get hit by it. So the character, while he's not like one of the best characters in the game, obviously, with that V-Trigger 2 stock, I think he can win an online CPT. I think I, so. you know what? I partially agree with that statement, but then I don't. Not the because best if, if, uh, if region, saying, maybe. Yeah. If you're saying a character's only good if you don't know, and we've no. seen multiple yeah. characters like that in the past, that yeah. means... You can say that for several characters, though. If you shut them down with more with more potent characters with the correct options, you can shut them down. I wouldn't say he's like he's good if people don't know. No, no, I, I meant he's good because the players would probably know. I mean, if they're the oh, highest level okay, players in the world, okay, they should okay, know. Okay, okay, okay. So if it's still see, working, then you know that it's not just a gimmick. That's the way I think about it, at least. Uh, okay, I see. I mean, of course, they could be also uh, lack slacking on their work, but they shouldn't be. And um, seeing him, I think he got all the way to top eight, or was it ninth in top 16, uh, that Blanca player? I want to say Nine no, because obviously uh, there was a Griffin mask in the CPT that happened over this weekend. He got top eight and yeah. then the winner's side. He actually made both the online CPTs. Um, <laughs> I actually can't remember <laughs> if there has been a Blanca in I think another was... CPT. No, I think there was a Japan, Japan CPT. Uh, I know. I think Michigan I'm check. won a tournament recently. I can't yeah, quite I I remember too. Hmm. if someone in... It was going up against a Bison player, that, that Warlord Bison, I think. I can't quite remember. Costco. Thank you, Vedoyans. Shouts to Vedoyans. Costco made it there with the Blanca, the Honda play as well. So there's been Blanca's in tight to tournaments. So. Yeah, definitely. I'm just going to check if it was. Uh, I just want to know. Do you, do you know what region, uh, Japan region was for CPT online? Uh, East Asia. East Asia. East Asia, I believe. So not, so yeah, exactly. Not Southeast, but just East. See. But yeah, it should it should be uh, that should be it. Oops. Yeah. Are you playing today? No. Uh, I mean, I can probably press a button or two, but I yeah. I don't I don't want to upset these guys. No. I don't, don't want to upset shake them. Shake their egos, maybe. No, yeah. I don't want to upset them. Don't shake I their think, egos. I think some I think some people are starting to call me a gatekeeper <laughs> because they say when I do play, some people don't perform as well as they should. I'm, look, I'm here to upset I mean, yeah. me, but uh, I'm, I'm not I mean, to Jammers, my CPT, so. you are a good player. Am I? You're focused on content, but I think you're strong. So I think you should take that and put it in your backpack. Uh, I mean... You will yeah, beat people, I, and people will not think that, uh, oh, this is an easy bracket. So I think... Uh, nah, if I, wanted to, if I wanted to ruin someone's day, mm. I'd just sign up. Do, do you know what I might do? Yeah. I might sign could, up yeah. for the EU US team, nice, yeah. and then just not show up. <laughs> no, you should sign up for the EU US and show up. Whoa. Oh, man, there you go. I like uh, China South here. Yeah. I always liked it. Since I saw it against Gamer B, like last round pixel loss at the EGX 2018. I think it was 18. I think so. Yeah, since then I just always liked it. Just like watching so, him play. Yeah, you know what? He it's funny because, games. yeah, he... China, to me, is a really good rep uh, representation of what Street Fighter V is yes. as a whole. And it's it's actually weirdly exciting to watch. Yes, I really <laughs> enjoy it. I really <laughs> do you, do you, do you yes. get what I mean? <laughs> yes. So, I, I think... The same, but, uh, oh. There is a couple of flaws uh, in his gameplay, which we, I have spoken to him about certain things that he needs to improve on. But slowly but surely, it's getting there. And I tell you, when he fits, uh, when he actually gets things all down to a T, yeah. I don't think anyone's going to want to fight this dude. No, Believe no. me. No, no. He's definitely someone you are. If you see him in your bracket, you're like, oh, shit, I got this guy. Because I, I, didn't he, like, beat someone super good at, at an online uh, tournament Lohi. recently? He beat uh, yeah, but... Lohi in a first of five for Damascus Wanted. Shouts to Damascus. Uh, who did you know? But I think he beat, he beat Problem X, I think. Wasn't, no, I don't want to say it if it's wrong. He no, beat someone really good. No, it was someone, no. But there was someone really good. I remember I, I watched um, 
like an archive, not an archive, but I watched the result and I was like, well, I don't, I don't know who it was. I'd no, like the, to figure the, the it out. The thing is, yeah. you and I both know, and you've entered way more tournaments worldwide than I have. Yeah. There's going to be names I'm in a bracket. Like, that guy probably isn't going to make it out of pools, but he can definitely stop mm. me from making it out of the pools. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So China for me is one of those, those dents in the road, but the moment he figures out the next level in high level Street Fighter gameplay, mm. as I said, no one's going to want to face this guy. Believe me, he's got an Abigail. It's one of the more threatening ones in the European scene. He's working on a poison. Do not worry, I'm hounding down this guy's ear to make sure he gets his poison on point. So therefore, I no longer have to play. Uh, <laughs> but he, he's getting there. He's definitely getting there. Um, if we get the name swapped around as well, perfect. Thank you, Street Team. But the, uh, yeah, but the thing which you said earlier about him playing Street Fighter V is what I thought. It's why I like that he plays Abigail because I, I feel Abigail is such a character where you could play Street Fighter V with. So he's instead of, instead of going for all those jab, jab, jab things, he's just doing the heavies nah, and the specials. I think, yeah, I think he wants the damage. He wants yeah, the damage the and the boy. comeback potential. Yo. So it's literally all there. Good punish there. Mm -hmm. Actually, that was in front of I think. Cool. So... Take good here for Will to pack, and that's it. You gotta. I, I, I'm telling you, every time I see China, I'm I'm gonna bet five pounds that he's gonna hit everybody with a back fist every time this guy plays. Whoa, Someone is gonna get hit by that back fist. Oh, nice. <laughs> he see, knows that, that button yeah. works. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you can see him. You can see him utilize the ex flip. I mean, he's thinking evolving the character. I think it's fun watching. Him. Oh yeah, for sure, mm. for sure. And I, I, I'm surprised that uh, Will Two Pack's going with nice. all the double Abby lift forward fist. I love that move, by the way. Ten frame start up. Mm. That is such a potent move to stack throughout the air. All right, here I we go. Gonna what's activate. What's this? What was that? What? What on earth was that? I haven't seen this. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen this V skill from Laura for like more than one match, maybe. Um, this stuff to work with, but mm. the left-right mix-up that uh, the linear yeah. movement provides is too yeah. good. Yeah. Way too good. Um, but maybe so... it's a matchup specific thing that he's trying out? That... I, I, I mean, he's then again, continuously using it. Oh, so. He's, he's, a, well, he's yeah. going up against a big boy. Yeah, maybe China can parry if he thinks he's doing the leg thing. I haven't seen that one, but... Uh... Uh, we'll see. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll see. But I, I mean, I need to learn a little bit more nice. about this B skill too. But for the most part, I guess when you want to win or in tournaments, you're probably not going to see it. Unless, like Becky said, it's matchup specific. Yeah. But sometimes I can't see it right now. Sometimes the big bodies make you play a bit different. And it might be one of those things. So. Maybe. All right, Thunderclap to use the approach. He tried to cancel and parry the Thunderclap. No mm. dice there for China. No V trigger yet. Misses the Bay Area Sunrise grab. There you go, block. He's tried to yeah. stab block now because I think he's not close, uh, far enough to get the reaction for the EX flip. Yeah. Projectile invincibility, sir. Wake up, super. Wake up, super. It would have worked. It would have worked. It would have worked. It would have worked. You're going to do it now? Oh, Abigail do doesn't die. Oh, can you yes, activate? just activate. Just all in the. Oh, that was. I like that kind of thing. Smart. When you expect it to be slow, when you expect it to just wait because he's activating this really dangerous move and then your reaction to that is dashing twice and then doing a jump light kick. That's gonna work. Do you know every what? Time. I, I think I like it's that. interesting because what Will Tupac's done there, I think yeah. more people might need to experiment with. It's when you're nearly dead or yes. high stun. Go mm. forward. They're not expecting you to go mm. forward. So it's like, okay, it's still a oh, risk boy. in its own right. Correct, Absolutely. but it's like just see what happens. Is your are you, is your opponent ready for yeah. it? You know, they look for the anti air, mm -hmm. they look for the dash. You know what I mean? So absolutely, no, I definitely agree. And that's why it worked because he would not in a million years think about that as a first. He's gonna double dash on me and jump after I activate the hold the V trigger that I have, yeah. and I have a full suit like any hit could do. Anti air with the crouch fist. Somebody in the chat is asking for poison nerfs. I mean, she's gotta win an online CPT first for any consideration. So, uh, yeah, that hasn't happened yet. And it, it, if Fuda doesn't win one, I don't think you're going to see a poison in a CPT, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe if you win one, though. All right, listen, man. There's too many, hey, there's too many, threatening, there's too many threatening players in uh, EU CFN that I don't want to be handling on a Sunday. Uh, yeah. On Saturday, sorry. <laughs> I like that Saturdays. But you might get a good bracket. Who knows? Maybe we'll you only see. have 
Zangief. I don't know how is Zangief against Poison anyway. Is that uh, a good match? It's one of the best matchups. Well, but... there we go. Finally with the parry. It's been a while. Yeah, finally. But I guess it's the mix-up with the air fireball thing and the kicks that's making him second guess himself maybe for the parry. What's it called? Uh, thunder Spike, I think it is. The air thunder clap. I think that's what yeah. it's called. But um, no. Nice. Zangief is uh, one of Poison's better matchups. Yeah, um, it is. But mm. it, it's not entirely. Well, if he grabs you, then you've lost. Basically, <laughs> so just make sure he doesn't grab you. I mean, I don't know if Zangief really agree with that. That uh, they won if they grab you once, but now they do. They do. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that thing called out since like 2012 or 13. Just I'm grab a, you I'm once. A, I'm, a, I'm a keep calling him out. Yes, they come to. He started parrying, shut him down. Nice. Oh, that's gonna be yes. dead there, and China's gonna take it. Super dead. Oh, for Will to pack. Thank you, China, for starting to parry. Remember, guys, you need to keep an eye out for this dude because yeah, yeah. I believe he is going to be entering the next yes. and final uh, CPT go. for the Western European region. And we can <laughs> see a China the second in top 16. You never know. You um, can see him in top eight too, maybe. Who knows? I, who knows? You know, but I think for, like I've, I've said, it's a little bit more players now. Um, because they've understood, like Veggie said, people have understood the Street Fighter Five aspect. So they're playing mm. the game now. Now it's kind of developing a strategy to kind of work around your strengths. Mm. Once you kind of get that and go into uh, some matches with more comfortability, it's just going to be 10 times worse to play against. Mm. So once China gets that part down and sharpens up in the poison, again, no one's going to want to fight him because he's going to cover all his bases. So. Mm. China's nickname is really beautiful, you know. It's a homage to his online friend. I thought I'd just mention it here because I talked to him. No, it's true. Okay. It's an homage to his online friend, but he must tell the story himself. I just thought I'd say that so that you know that it's a very that it's I'm sure actually a really beautiful time. nickname. Yeah, maybe oh, he man. will tell you after he wins CPT online. Who knows? Yeah, you know what he's gonna do. He's gonna so. win, and he's gonna he's probably just gonna wear jammers, get him on the really? Skype call. I'm gonna tell him that I'm the superior poison player, and I can play Abigail as well. You know? No, no, I mean? he's gonna win with Abigail, and then he's gonna say he's the superior poison player just to be extra disrespectful to you, jammers. I know. Listen, you don't you don't want me to focus on a first to five or a first to ten. Please don't. No. no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this All match right. will be interesting, right? Though. So these guys did play a little bit earlier um, before the stream kicked off. And I think Nassim did take it. Now, I actually think V-Skill 2 is actually all right here. Probably. I, I actually think it's all right here. Oh. This seems like one of those matches that are really annoying because you can't punish some of the balls, maybe. That was a beautiful crouch fierce, by the way. Yeah. You think he's looking for the um, confirm, China? Because he's not cancelled on block much. He's been like, crouch minion kick, crouch minion kick, you can yeah, definitely nah, he, confirm. He, nah, he's definitely looking for the confirm, but uh, I, don't know, nice. I don't know if that's part of his like daily practice routine to uh, get that okay. on point. Because mm. I think that's essential right now for having your players. Yeah, you definitely. That down. You yeah, because, that down. because it's far and it's low, it's so good, it's not hard to uh, confirm it. There you go, he does the blanket ball to get out, the parry, I he's love on parry, that. parry sick today. Do you know what, right? Let me bring this up again. Me and Beggy yes. mentioned this last time. I know neutral jumping to kind of bait a throw is part of the meta now, but you need to be very careful as to what characters you do that against. Yeah. I think Abigail's one of them because he's got a parry. Mm. Yeah. And he's got a crouch fierce that juggles if he's very ready. So crouch fierce run, heavy point, super dead. Alright, there you go. Giant flip the light version, making it safe. Yeah. And is he still getting hit by Shout to Earth Hey China? I think he's definitely unfamiliar. He's been getting hit by that too many times. Uh, Ooh, the thing you said earlier, I don't think that's common knowledge that you can that you have that you can charge and back dash forward dash. But if you charge it to full, you have to commit. I don't think that's common knowledge for most players yet. Yeah, that's true. So actually, that's really good. he's got it charged up here. Mm. But um, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I think if. Nassim Kho wanted to play lane with V-Skill 2, it is very doable against this guy. I don't know if he can yes, armor it or do um, EX Giant Flip for Projectile Invincibility. Ooh, or that. he can do that. <laughs> oh, and he can do that. Super. I'd super. I would. I do. You're like, you're, so you're Team Daigo? I would, I would assume. Get more. So use it and get more. Yeah, but I don't know how effective no! it is with Abigail, but that's the thing. What was it worth? Good block! Oh my god. Becky, he's dying. Meaty! Oh, he went back! He actually yes. he did! Yes. He did! I think he did! <laughs> oh my word! When you this put Abigail. two Whoa. armored moves in the hands of certain players, it becomes the best move in the game. 
you remember how much complaints there were on that armor break? I'm kind of surprised that people haven't found answers yet. I found can... answers with my character. I can you use... can throw it. Uh, jump forward. It's not as easy as Alex's to throw it. Oh yeah, it's definitely not as easy no, to throw it. It's, it's, I don't. I don't feel like throw is a good option from that distance. I see. Um, what is your? What is your escape? I, I have, I have risk, an escape. I have to risk doing cartwheel through it. So it depends on the Abigail's timing. Mm. So and I bad. have to be ready to walk forward. But I don't know what forward to this dude. Never. You maybe never walk forward with poison. I don't know. Who knows? But it's got hyper armor, so yeah. like multiple hitting moves will just get blown up. Yeah. Um, or I could super it, right? This yeah, is yeah, super is good. But this is one of the reasons why poison's weak, man. All I've got is a 10 frame super, and I don't yeah. always have access to that, so I can't we defend myself. All you people saying poison's the best, I can't defend myself. Whisper it to my ear. I will. Every time. Yeah. Every time. Every don't. time. Poison is on the backside. I can't yeah. win the game, right? Okay. Yeah. And all you people complain about poison. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's just because the poison players might be good. I don't know. The character's got a lot of flaws. Oh, yeah. I'm not defending my character. She's she's good, but yeah, she, I like. But I, I think only the damage is too much for me with the uh, poison. I think okay. that's the thing. If you reduce the damage on those occasions, you know, those special situations where you get intense damage. Yeah. I think she's fine design. It's kind of fun to play against her. Kind of annoying, but yeah, you know, it's cool. She's a different character. I think that's cool. Though, that part. Anti Street Fighter 5 with high damage. And as I say that, we're yeah. seeing a Street Fighter 5 character being embodied right here. Even then, Street Fighter 5 character. Bl Blanca, I, I mean, even before this game, he's the longest time he's probably been a Street Fighter 5 yeah. character. So. But funnily, he's less Street Fighter 5 in this game than he was in Street Fighter 4. In my opinion. I mean, I, I think Blanca is a super fun character to fight until he activates B Trigger 2. Before B Trigger 2, that character is so good design. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> That's probably where me and Reggie have to agree to disagree. And there you go, closing it out one apiece. Yeah. I don't know, maybe maybe it's my philosophy uh, to win. my philosophy towards the character, maybe towards how he works in this game. Mm. But for the most part, I, I just don't like fighting Blanca. But because I have such a negative mindset towards yeah, yeah. him, it, that's probably why I don't go, oh, yeah, you fun. Dawson. I don't like fighting Dawson either. But <laughs> yes, are you team hate Dawson? <laughs> I am Thank team you. hate yes. Dawson indeed. Yes, he is another one joins the club. He's an incredibly fun guy to watch. Uh, uh, Blanca or Dawson? Uh, Dawson. Ah. Okay. I think he's fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're allowed to say that. To say that. <laughs> I was nervous. I couldn't even say say. <laughs> All right. So it's one a piece to these guys. And Nasty was working on stun, but good jump out there from China. He nearly got B trigger. You can just get a, a hunger bee, the parry, and he could actually win this game. Dude. No stun yet. Oh wow! It's so efficient. I cannot believe. China it's is so cleaning easy. out people right now. No, I'm telling you, China just stopped playing rank. Two Ch sandbag. China just, no. the second. Yes. Why is he not called China the first? Because that's the thing with the nickname. It's an homage. China first class. That's what I need. China the first class. No, I like him to be China the king. <laughs> <laughs> now that yes. gimmick, right? That gimmick blank is that dude. That's fake. I'm pretty sure that's fake. Yeah, we can ask Verdoin. Is it fake, Verdoin? Where well, he does the back throw and then he does the EX ball into the corner. If you wake up with a bun, I'm pretty sure you can stop it. Isn't it something like, if you only if you block cross up, will it hit you? Or something like that. Isn't it that? I, I, I think so. It it's never like hits that. people, but yeah. no one ever expects Blanket to be in the corner. Yeah, no, no one is that good at blocking that they'll block <laughs> <laughs> cross up there. <laughs> oh. I, I, need, I need justification for Mobile from a Blanca player. Yeah, no, definitely. Because I think that's fake. All right. Gets the low. There's the jumps. They're coming in. And against this big boy, this is a nightmare for Abigail to deal with. There's a mm. parry. And done the Abigail punch way too early there, China. Uh, it, uh, for Abigail, he's definitely one of those characters that struggles with the jump dash game a little bit. Yeah, Which uh, is why close, Ken close is so good. Yeah. Yeah, close, close jump ins and fast long dashes like Ken. Oh my word, he's dead. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Don't count out Nassim Claw. Or I mean Nassim Blanca. Don't oh, forget, oh, guys. Yeah. Nassim will be entering the online CPT as well. But, oh. but will he be playing Claw or Blanca? 
I think if he's playing his cards right or playing it safe, we might just see the Vega alone. But I think he might bring out the full, he might bring out the full spectrum, to be honest he with you. He played Colin too for a while, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. I don't know why he put her away, to be honest with you. No, I know why. Because it's his style. I mean, his style is that charge character annoyance. That's what he's best at. In my opinion, no. Oh yeah, Na you, you know what he was watching best? this, Nassim, you're very annoying to fight. I'm just gonna yeah. put it out there, you're yeah, very annoying to fight. Annoying. Yeah. Triggering, I, 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 even. I'll tell you this, fun fact, right, because I don't know how many people worldwide know this. The reason EX Flying Barcelona got toned down, Nassim yes. Claw was one of the reasons. Thank you very much, Nassim Claw, in Gfinity Season 2. For game. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I was going to say before you said it. That uh, Nassi, um, Nassim Claw. Nassi, yeah, I said that with the charges because Nassim Claw's best season with uh, Claw season was two. the season where you yeah. definitely played <laughs> ST style Claw, doing off jump heavy kick and EX Barcelona off the oh, wall. It was brilliant, mate. Mm. Oh my god, that was such and, an experience uh, to watch. That's why I didn't play. I just had to watch. I didn't you play guys that season suffer. two either, actually. Hey man, you were enjoying it as well. <laughs> Watching it from the crowd is like, damn, that yeah. team is really wrecking some guys up. When, when they, they won, that was great because it was different and it was super wild. When they like uh, some of those matches were super crazy matches. It was really <laughs> it was an exciting <laughs> tournament to watch. Oh, <laughs> I mean, uh, shout out to Gfinity. I do miss Gfinity because oh. it's, it's oh, been too. a little while. Um, oh. But the again, highlight the... master, the highlight master is here. Oh Let's go. dear! Here we Will go. we have some highlights Shout today? Shout out to Comps for joining us uh, late tonight, playing some games. Because again, he's a competitive Akuma, trying yeah, to get these games in and training. I he's think strong. he's going to enter the mm. online CPT. Oh, he should. Um, but yeah, uh, I agree with Veggie. Comps is strong. I think my biggest issue with Comps. <laughs> right Yo. Now... No, no, it, my, it's not even. It's not even bad on his part because. People know him for being on the receiving end of highlights, which is wrong. <laughs> and um, I think because if you watch him when he's training with the usual guys that he trains with, mm. amazing. I know. Uh, but then I know. When, you, when you release him into the wild, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, I think EUCFN gets the better of him. But I don't think he's played online like this because he usually plays online a little bit, then goes offline. Mm. He does really well. Mm. But I think EU CFN has definitely got into him. But I also think it's uh, when you're playing for uh, what matters, then he's very good at... He shows up, he shows up. No, but I mean, it's like he, he's good at killing himself when he doesn't have to. That's why he's highlighted so much, because highlights come from combat, bro. <gasps> Hold on! Nice. As we say that, Veggie, what's the guest going to be? Is he going to wake up yeah. full Nassi? No, he didn't. He tried to wake up Crash Medium Oh, is that safe? Oh. Like, he didn't have... I mean, I don't know, did he have to, he had two, I mean, he had, uh, could have wait, uh, it's hard to say, you know. We'll see, because I, I, yeah, I think it's a match nice. that both me and you do not see, but I mm, like that answer to uh, the V-Skill 2, yeah, medium top super. Suit. Those are those, when you see him shine, that's when comps shine, you see things like, maybe a lot of other Kumas won't do. And he's just like casually walking up, medium kick tatsuing that V-Skill, that's really nice. Hey man. Holmes and he loves the hell out of Akuma. When you really yeah. love that character and have that connection, you are going to go to next length mm. to make it work. And he's definitely making it work. I think he's dead, though. Yeah, I think yeah. he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Definitely. <gasps> oh. And as you say that, Nassim is going to be on the receiving end of the comeback. No, he's not. Uh, he just <laughs> done that. Maybe you confirmed it. I think you can, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, at least you could uh, see that there's going to be a collision at that point because that's. I think it went through like a fireball. Yeah. So he would just see, it didn't even have to confirm it like properly. You could just see, oh, this is gonna hit. But um, with comps, I think he has great neutral, great buttons placements, but uh, kills himself at the end of a lot of rounds. Now, would you say that's, that's his fault? Or yes. it's something that he can't control in the game? Round one. No, I feel like it's more him than other Akumas that kill themselves that way. Because okay. he, he can have really comfortable leads and then wanting to end it is when he gets ended. From my viewing and personal experience with him, it's like even when he's winning, he he might not win because of that thing. Okay. I'm trying to close it out. I'll, tr I'll try to, if, if it happens today, tonight, I'll try to point it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, I so, can understand what you mean. Um, kind of being over, overextended, being overzealous. Absolutely. And it's like, yeah. You Landing the kills. To go there, but, yeah. um, again, because it, it's very tempting to close out around. I know you have to yeah. earn your hit because there's no chip kills outside of CAs. But um, exactly. Akuma's got the options to kind of close out people mm. with the mix-ups he has. Oh, so. yeah. 
He does, but he doesn't have to force it when you have a great lead. Because he has that control too, is what I feel though. When you have that control, you might not need to be the overextender at all times. Yeah. At the end. Mm. Alright, so we're going into next round here. This is match point for Maxime Claw. Alright, red fireball. Pressure, crush counter. He pressed the button, he can't do that. He keeps on getting hit by those crushes. You'd be surprised how many people are actually anti in the corner against him. Yeah, I'm yeah. one of those people, actually. Yeah. So. Oh. Yeah, because now it's we triggered one, so it might not be as scary, actually. Because I was I thinking know, it might be over, but it might not actually be over. I don't after. know. All he needs is the corner, to be honest, with that one. Mm -hmm. But he's dead. But he didn't get it this time. He didn't get the party started. As they say. <laughs> Who are they? I don't know. But... I mean, I don't. I, sometimes I, I don't really like, want to yeah. bank on uh, my V trigger bringing me back into the game. I know we've mm. said this before. It's not about how you start; it's how you finish. I know mm. this game's heavily built on comebacks, but I don't want my V trigger to be the way I'm winning games consistently. Anyway, uh, I, I can like that, but then you have to pick a character that is not V trigger dependent. Yes, which I so, think sometimes those Blanca characters is, are just terrible. But yeah, like I think Blanca is kind of dependent. To be good, he's dependent on V trigger too. In my opinion, I might be wrong, but that's what I experienced. Okay. To be like the strong uh, or to be a threat. Because uh, his normal game outside of V Trigger is okay. Very okay, I think. Yeah. It's very well designed before V Trigger, I think. Ooh, nice demon flip to avoid that command grab there. I think they both got it at the same time with other ideas in mind. <laughs> well, yeah, definitely. There's another command grab and he recovered in time. Oh no, Cobbs is looking bleak for him right now. Air fireball. Gets the counter hit. He needs this. He absolutely needs this right now. If he gets one hit, and oh! One, one, one. Yeah, they just needs one. Hey, if... Oh no! Oh. He did it. Was super? That. He wanted fireball. I think he wanted yeah, fireball. Probably. Oh, and it comes out. He had the Juninho issue mm. where he turned the DP in the guy's face. He completely didn't want that. One of the five wanted something else there. But the execution error is your demise. I'm so glad that was not tournament because that is the worst way to go. That is definitely, definitely the worst way to go there. But let me see if I can get this uh i hope we get to see him again against another character because you didn't yeah, get we, to we see you didn't get to see uh Kampf's play at that game Kampf's play is a good neutral game but i think sure. it's uh character might be a bit hard to play normal against for akuma it yeah. looked like you had it looked very specific like a matchup where you need a lot of specific knowledge that's what it looked like to me so i hope we get to see him in a more normal matchup because i want him i mean i just want people to, he's Fundamentals are on point. His fundamentals are on point, and I believe and, yeah. he should be applying to the European West region. Don't forget, guys, in a week's time, the sign-ups close. I want to see all the European Everyone. players, as many as possible, signing up there. This is the second and last chance. Takamura took the first one. He's going to be a gatekeeper, Yo. and he has signed up to the next one. So you better get your count your lucky stars and hope he's not in your bracket, but... The training has been intense for these guys. More people are streaming, more people are practicing. I can't Definitely. wait to see who we're going to see in the top 16 for Europe West 2. And then a week later, Central America's sign-ups close as well. CPT Yo. coming thick and fast. Yeah. What do you think about gatekeeping in this format? You um, can be honest with me. You can whisper it to me if you need to. It's. I think it, it, it's cool. I'm kind of like on the fence. I'm neutral about it. It's cool and it's not because mm. the guys still need practice and everyone's online. So, and in the tournament, like, you might not bump into the guys in the face, but it's still good tournament mm. practice, nevertheless. But at the same time, because the stakes are so high, it's winner take all. Because you've already won, what's yeah, the and need you don't to, get anything else. Yeah. yeah, what's the need to come in again? Because I, I believe if the same guy potentially wins the tournament, he gets passed down to second place. Yeah. But if you think about it, that guy probably would have jeopardized someone's potential to yeah. the top 16 or top 8 because he filled up one of those spots, mm. if that makes sense. Yeah, that's, what, so, that's how I'm thinking about it too. I'm on, I'm on the fence about it. I'm on the fence about it. Um, for, for spectator value though, it's pretty fun. It's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Personally, I love that he's entering. I, it's, going, it's going to go down. And there's going to be some drama because of it. I know it and I'm looking forward to it in two weeks time. I got the popcorn ready for that. I don't even need popcorn. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I believe so. You got two. Yeah, two wins. You All beat right, China and... Uh, <gasps> the low to avoid the EX mm. up ball. 
and he goes for a crouch immediate kick again. Is that tech specific to Blanca? I wonder. I know these guys play each other on a regular basis, so this might be something they both know. Cool. I think maybe Nasim is doing a bit too many of those neutral jump shimmies. I feel like they are really heavy read base because they get punished hard if the opponent is actually not teching and just ready. And I here's feel. the thing, Will Will Tupac doesn't tech. That's true. Will Tupac doesn't he does a delayed jab or he looks for the anti-air. Very rarely does Will Tupac tech on his own accord. You have to actually condition him to tech. Mm. So you have to throw him like a lot mm -hmm. to get that one situation where he goes, okay, I think I think he's gonna throw me again and then try and catch that, but it's very hard to get into tech, so um, maybe you're not to try right. something else. Go back to frame traps, go back to meaties, you know? So it's more like a... I mean, you'd know that about uh, Tupac then if they're kind of like training partners. So maybe it's like... You know how it is when you play your not mains? You might kind of revolt back to your more flowchart offense when you are played for a while. Yeah, yeah, because you're I know not what you mean. That, you mean. Yeah. So it's like, oh, it's time to do a new jump. Oh, damn. That's what the fuck. He's not going to tech. All right. So if I am to believe to, you, though. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I believe you, but I, I didn't I didn't really think about it myself. But I don't know. Say it I, makes when, sense. When, when, oh, when I play too fat, he doesn't tech. So. Oh. Oh yeah, and I remember he said like, when I play against Jammers, he doesn't throw. I remember he said to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be why. <laughs> I mean, let me near you and I can throw you, mate, because I love my throws. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gonna close out the round here. Maybe one bar doesn't even need it. And with the rolling cannon there, Nassim Claw. These Blanca's getting good, but it's a hipster Blanca. The choice of V-Skill and V-Trigger. You know what? Some it's people good, just want to do that. Yeah. Some people want to do that. And uh, I think me and Veggie have spoken about this before. Where, all right, block the reversal. Is he going to get stunned? I don't think so. There oh, it is. Reset. Yeah, That's you're dead. Dead. Yeah. You're dead. So it's a thing where people. Yo, oh, what? Okay. Maybe not. Wait. So let's see until this round finishes. Back throw. Into a forward throw. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is this? And why is he not adhering the neutral group? Is it not possible for Laura standing in your place? It should be. No, no. He nice gets the punish. punish either way, but um, yeah, it's a thing where people have been trying to search for because the game's got more options and there's more variety now. People are trying to find their individuality, Things. so they're trying to find that what makes them them. Mm -hmm. uh, if this is what Nassim finds to be his thing, where he wants to be known as a blanker player through V Skill Two and V Trigger One <laughs> layout, then more power to you. Uh, maybe that's that probably isn't the reason, but I know some people do that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, some people aren't there to win tournaments they're there to showcase and I listen showcasing stuff about this game is it's good in its own right yeah well. I mean absolutely. look at this look at this I mean is the desk showcasing in this game oh, he's done, you know these combo videos oh, nice funky glitches and whatnot so okay yeah yeah that's right it's been a while though I yeah, mean it's been quite some yeah. time that's been quite some time so oh, no. With those piano music videos of his <laughs> I think right. there's a there's tournament footage of Desk, you know. Uh, I think on, that was from Able Street Fighter, uh, 2009 or 10. Yeah, that's this over 10 him. years ago. He plays Able or he plays Chun Li. At least there's an Able and a Chun Li in the match. Oh, I remember yeah. watching. It's not as impressive as his videos. That's what I want to say. I don't want to say anything else, but it's uh, it's not the same quality. He's a, he's a combo play. guy. He, he yeah. makes some quality videos to execute or showcase the execution required to do certain things and fun things with the characters uh, yeah. in any fighting game, I suppose. So. Yeah. He has that execution though. Not, not everyone's sure. going to play these games for tournament, or not everyone's built for that no, tournament no. playstyle. Right? Alright, there we go. Gets the counter hit. And then the confirm. Going to get the stun. He's got V-Skill 2 charged up. I don't think he needs the meter. It's still alive here. Good break from Will Tupac. And up ball takes it. Should have seen that coming. Mm. That was probably the perfect time to do it. That should have been the yeah. perfect time to block for Will Tupac, but the perfect time to do the up ball for Nasi Gorsa. I mean, yeah, because the opponent is really reaching at that point. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like the only way he could lose, isn't it? Doing that EX up ball there. Like, the only consistent way to lose that situation at least. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? It was. It, it, you kind of feel it's an obvious scenario, but there's no right yeah. or wrong scenario to do. It no, for sure. You just do it when you feel like it. So. No, definitely. I mean, there is a right and wrong in theory, maybe, but uh, not in reality. All right, gets the throw. He's gonna activate Vitrigal One off the down for the hard punch. He's gonna go for the stand medium, uh, stand medium kick frame trap. Sorry. Woo! 
That was nice. That's okay. You, you triggered one specific, right? Yeah, so when he does oh, the electricity, it turns into a stomp. That's actually... Mm. I think it's one frame less of advantage. So normally electricity is plus three, but the V-Trigger 1 version is plus two, but it's a stomp and moves you further mm. forward. I think that's how it goes. Don't quote me on that. It's been a little while since I've looked at Blanca. I might have to look at him tomorrow. I might yeah. have to look at him tomorrow. But um, yeah, Blanca is uh, hes annoying. Do not be fooled. He's not low tier. He's not top tier. He's floating somewhere in the middle and is very problematic. He has one of the best normal attack anti in the game, I feel. Yeah, punch. That's great. just my personal opinion. Though, so. It's a great anti-tier, but uh, there's a lot of characters who are not low tier, but mid tier. I feel this game is has just mostly good characters. Like, mostly good characters. I don't indeed. think uh, there's some extremely good character, but every character seems strong at at least something. Well, listen, you're going to see these characters in the upcoming tournaments for all the CPTs. We're going to be heading to Western Europe in about two weeks' time. Then a week later, it's going to be Central America. And then a week after that, it's going to be the big guns, baby. We're back to Eastern Asia. Your Lord and Savior, your Fudos, your uh, Sandbags, your NLs, they're going to be there. And it's going to be amazing. So this next couple of weeks are going to be nothing but gourmet CPT games. You think you're going to see Infiltration this time? Maybe. You think you're going to oh, see Daigo Gate? Do you, know what, do you know what's funny about the CPT? I don't know if you've noticed, but some people didn't enter their first ones to see yeah. what happens to enter the second one. Yeah, it's a bit and strange, more, don't you think? More, more numbers have come around during the second one. Mm. South mm. America is a perfect example. They had over 370 players signed up. So, mm. I think we might see a little bit more numbers, or maybe a little bit less with uh, Western Europe, but... Yeah. Um, I guess some people didn't enter to see how the first one goes, and then they go, okay, maybe I should enter, take my chances. It's a one, it could be a one hit wonder, because you only got one shot, you know? So. Yeah, but I do think it's a bit strange to wait and see on a two chance thing, though. It's not for everyone, as we know, yeah. it's not for everyone. Yeah, I kind of didn't enter West. I hope he enters this time. I mean, why not enter? We'll see. Yeah, I hope he does. Back to the close it out. All right, so these two had a really good game earlier. Uh, Chime the second, and that scene close. Again, that run back, and it's actually. This is an orthodox experience, but good experience for China because Nassim Claw, very strong player, and he's using a character that you nice. rarely see anyway. So it's a good way to test his knowledge about Street Fighter V and the Blanca matchup as well. Crush counter. Hold on, is he stunned? I think he's stunned. No. Could kill with a super, but he doesn't need it. Nice. I think he also thought he was uh, had him stunned because he didn't cancel into the super. Probably yeah, I, I, I thought he was salvage the meter. Yeah. Okay, it's alright. He's still got CA to work with, but I, I don't know if he's going to spend it. Maybe he needs it on EX moves hmm. to get through for the armor, the projectile invincibility. Good break. There you nice. go. I like uh, seeing China actively working to punish the V skill a lot more than last set. It's a constant you got a taste of it, yeah. So. You got a taste of it at the end of the last game, last set. Yeah, doing that, but this was probably just an activation. Oh See, that's what you're going to do to the nuclear jump. There exactly. you go. Veggie pointed it out yes. earlier in the stream. I, was... I wonder what the optimization is. It's probably Crouch Beer's run hit super, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. most likely. Uh, oh, I want to know what he can do with the trigger there. <laughs> oh my, he tried to throw it. Yeah, he tried to throw it. He tried to throw it. <laughs> he listened to you. <laughs> he tried to throw it. Because <laughs> that is one of the answers, but I just it? think it's, it's too much of a gamble at a is certain it? range. I it's not like cool. Alex, I think. Alex is very easy to throw. There is a specific timing and it almost always works. Now, here's the thing for me. If you're Blanca <laughs> and he's, uh, Abigail's charging the Metro Crash from full screen, why are you not charging to do the rainbow roll and just go over him? Completely just go over him. Why are you not doing that? Round one. Spend the bar and get out. Super Fight. good point. Why are you not doing it? Maybe. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a blanket player. Yeah. I'm not built to be a blanket player, so. <laughs> Oof. One more. Nice. That's an optimal punish on the command throw. Backdash to forward jump. Remember when you couldn't do that? <laughs> yeah, I remember. remember. Remember you just had to backdash and that was it. Yeah, backdash and barely, like yeah. yeah, barely anyone could punish <laughs> command grabs. Oh my word. I mean, you had to you had to really believe in the matter of coming to punish. You had to neutral jump. Yeah. Right. And even then, if that throw came out, boy. Oh, the cross up! On oh, the great Oh. 
I would have said China's mm. mad for that throw tech after the cross up, but it, lived, it let him live for a little car, a couple seconds longer. But yeah, I mean, it is a guess every time, so. Nice, and now clear answer. Abusing that V skill. I, you know what? I thought this would be a good idea against Abby, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. No, why? He's armored through it. Yeah. He's done crouching hard kick. He can do the giant flick if he's mm. I don't think it's a good idea against Abigail, you know? But then again, it's just what I mean, learning. Yeah. Here, so. And he could probably backdash and punish the slide and the sweep at least. So it seems like there's more of a mix up to it than just punish. Yeah. If it, it works the way you said. Oh, he tried to jump out of the corner. Oh, and he, get and he the gets back the panic throw. tech. Anyway, is he going to do. Yes. Oh, oh, you could... oh yes. Nah, he's wait. He's trying to wait for him to escape. That's what he's waiting for. No, no! What the hell was that? No, oh, I think it was an anti. I think it was a minus on block to super, but he cancelled instead. Oh, was that rollback? Was that rollback? Oh, it could have been rollback too. It could have been online. Been we are online. I forgot it, about that. It, it could have been rollback. I don't know. It could have been anything, but boy, if you, in your mind, was a hundred and ten percent certain that was gonna hit. I hate to break it to you, buddy, but you lost all your meter, and Nassim takes that one. I, I mean, be, yeah, it's it is China the second. It is China the second. So I must believe that it was a rollback. I don't see him canceling on block. Not this guy. Uh, yeah, I, that, that's, not very, this guy. that's very easy to identify whether it's hit mm. or flop. So. Yeah. I mean, it's not easy if it rolls back, of course. And well, yeah. Well. I mean, we are playing Leon to somewhere in London, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Might not be uh, No, uh, sorry, uh, uh, China lives up north of the country. I think he lives in Scotland. Oh, oh he gets it. Oh, wake up button there. Yeah. That was a, that wasn't even a full frame. I swear, uh, Blank is like he gets five frames. Hold on. Yeah, I think China, you know those scrambly knockdowns? He yeah. doesn't have his meaties down, I, I've seen today. And it's lost him quite a few oh. rounds. Uh, uh, Stan Light kick is four frames with Blank, my apologies. But yeah, sorry. Continue it's still, yeah. No, I, I feel like uh, China's been inconsistent when it's scrambly knockdowns like that. He's been not that good at landing the meaty. I think he's been hit by a lot of wake-ups in those situations. So that's maybe something to work on. How, how would you suggest he goes about doing Oh, that's a that good way? question. <laughs> do, I mean, do you know what I mean? I, I know exactly what Vicky's saying, <laughs> but how do you go about doing that? Unless it's out... Uh, unless it's in a well, no, I think there is one thing you can do. It's that you prepare yourself that the next time that happens, you stay extra focused on the animations instead of just flow charting immediately you know like, oh shit it's gonna happen let's really we're not gonna flow chart this time like our midis which we're gonna properly like watch the screen before we press i think that helps it helps me when i get those kinds of knockdowns at least yeah so. he's really dead gonna chip him and that's gonna be it nassim takes it oh Two. my china second Nassim is here to stay. He's here to stay, man. I mean, this With matchup the here. Blanca. Teal Blanca. Teal Blanca. Are, I'm, I'm are you impressed? This one. Are what, you my Blanca or the color? No, no, no. That I know the word Teal. I can be impressed. Do you want me to be impressed, Veggie? Yes. yes. I am very impressed, Veggie. Teal. You know where I learned Teal? Where did you learn that, Veggie? Warcraft 3. <laughs> I am not impressed, Veggie, where you learned that from. But... Why? I am pressed you know the words where you learn it from. <laughs> I'm already joking. Shout yeah. out to Beggy. Right, Shout who we got jammers. next? We've got comps jumping back up because I need to see the screen that's right behind me. But then again, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. We're back after a little issue. But myself, Veggy. Uh, sorry, myself and Veggy. <laughs> myself, Veggy. <laughs> myself, Veggy. Yeah, I wish I was Veggy. No, I, don't, I, don't. I, don't I don't know how many people saw this guy's amazing house and his visitors with him. The intro in the was today. nice. The the Hugh Hefner of the FGC just having fun, but uh, I mean, I got I got my two girls besides me, but um, Peggy has, nice yeah. has other plans. Peggy has other plans, but um, yeah, man, it's been um, it's been uh, two weeks since we've been doing some winner stays in, but yeah. there's been tons of Street Fighter action happening as well. The guys are leveling up constantly. Never forget the guys have been leveling up constantly. Um, because Mr. Crimson's gotten a lot better, a lot of the UK guys have gotten better. It's like it's an absolute threat, an absolute bloodbath for these guys. So, and Crimson said that he kind of owes some of his getting betterness, if that's a way, if, if I can say that word in that way. I don't know. You can teach me later. Uh, comes from him switching to PC. It's like he said, "I love the game so much now. It's on PC." 
Okay. Yeah. So I think he's one of those guys that really enjoy the when you can really feel the game react responding to you. Yeah, I I, I respect that. Um, mm. And it, it's definitely an overall better experience as to what I've been told yeah. and what I've played as well. Um, yeah. But I, I'm definitely. just a console peasant for now. Yeah. Um, for now. But I I don't know because. If we were, I don't know how next year is going to go, if it is going to be a CBT or, you know, things are going to go to somewhat normality how it was before the pandemic. But I don't know if we, or when we're going to go back to consoles. I don't know. Because it would be nice offline, if we stay on it's PC. Gonna, it, it's going to be consoles. Mm -hmm. If you try and run an event all on PCs, that's difficult in its own right. So. I mean, it is, but I think it could be uh, worked out so it can get, become even easier. But what do I know? I'm just a player, right? Yeah. No, you're supposed to say you're so much more. <laughs> well, I'd like to say you're so much more. You are definitely developing into so much more. But mm -hmm. for now, as long as you are nearly ultimate, or you are ultimate grandmaster, you are a player. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are definitely a player. <laughs> yeah. But only him. Not a uh, Wardor. Did ya? That was nice. Yeah, I mean, it's a yeah. slow. It, it's slow, though. Come on. Blancas, it's not like DX Revenge from Birdie. It's kind of slow. Um. If people still get caught out. I, I still get caught out by it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I still get caught out by it. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, but also maybe not. I mean, I feel like he's doing it as a prediction to fireball, maybe, because that would work. It could be anything. I mean, Comps has been neutral jumping it or jumping out of it. I think every time. So I feel like it is like a prediction thing. I don't know though. I might be totally wrong. Does Blanca have good anti-fireball moves? Maybe EX ball? Uh, down forward hard punch. Uh, uh, I think he can go over it with uh, the rainbow roll. I think he can do the hop as well. No, sorry, uh, cow crouch. And then he goes under mm. and does the attack. He doesn't have to hop. Uh, I think he can use B-Skill 2 as well. But from that, like, 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 a little bit out of buttons range. So yeah. You, yeah. I so think he can preemptively do crouch fierce as well. He's gonna get the DP nice. he did, but no hard knockdown. I think that's better for Nassim Klo. So how far was he from fully charged to be skilled there? Because he was all, he turned yellow and everything. Oh, he's got the charge. You don't need to. He's, he's literally got the charge. Oh yeah, and then he okay. So then he has to use. Yeah. Okay. Now I truly understand what you said. I thought you meant that when he charged it up, he would get the move, and then he would have to like commit to the animation. But you can still dash out. Now you can still but, dash out, and but I then you can't charge, charge again. Okay. okay. So once once okay, the icon's okay, flashing, okay. when he does mm. B skill, he's just committed to uh, the actual animation, so he okay. can't do the charge again. Okay. Uh, so so it's time. like as soon as you get it, get rid of it, sort of thing. Yeah. Like the Seth do with uh, with with B skill one. Yeah. Because they want that neutral kind of random control tool more than the <laughs> skill itself. Often, I feel. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you don't see many Blanca players. I mean, Blanca players are definitely a rare breed uh, in their play styles and finding one. Um, <laughs> but when you do bump into a Blanca player, they know what they're doing. They know they exactly do. what they're doing. You're not going to... Okay, let me put it to you like this. You're not going to find the bad Blanca player. In my opinion, I don't think you're going to find the bad Blanca player. Because everyone playing this character right now knows exactly what they're doing. Mm. I had no idea Nassim plays Blanca. It's one of his, uh, like, six or seven characters. It's, <laughs> it's one of his six or seven characters. I don't know if he's committing to this for the online CPT coming up, but this is a character he's actually been playing for a little while. So, But let's be real, though. He hasn't gotten much from v uh, VTrigger 1. I have almost not seen him hit or been used all day. Hey, man. Sometimes you got to learn the hard way. So yeah. after this, we might see him go back. Because when he initially started learning Blanca, it was v -Skill 2. Oh, VTrigger 2, so... so. Yeah. Yeah, because that's oh, that's a very good. That's definitely the better V trigger in my opinion. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know if he's looking for more OP options through a V trigger, or does he really want to skank someone out? Oh, he's dead. No. <gasps> no, he's not. Okay. Oh, he, wait. He, he dashed dash. through it. What? Are you dead? Oh, I thought he, I thought he was gonna build meter for the super. Why? What was? Why did you wow. throw it dash? Yeah. What was that forward? I mean, even if it like. Whatever he did. What? Nassim is a genius, that's why. Don't question him. Hey, listen. Just you know what? It. Nassim's defensive choices are annoyingly good. Yes. They are actually very annoying that they're good. 
because it's like, hang on, what are you doing? But it, it works. Mm -hmm. And again, he's never picked a character outside of, hold on, I, I don't think he's ever picked a character with bad walk speed. Colin doesn't Vader. have a, yeah, Colin doesn't have a good walk speed. Oh, and like, oh, forward walk speed's alright, but she's not really... Yeah, but she's not that much. Yeah, it feels, she feels kind of like, a, when it comes to her movement, she feels like a big body. Yeah, I can see that. Mm. I guess probably a better way of explaining it is he never picked a character with bad movement. Yeah, because she has good movement. Yeah. With so... the dashing and all the specials and everything. Yeah, for sure. Because he's, he's picked Vega, he picked Sakura, mm. he's picked Blanca. So he, he, he's picked characters with good movement. Oh, he plays Sakura too? Performs. He's playing Sakura as well. She's so underrated too. She's a strong character, man. Well, she's like she's come to light more this season. Obviously, Nam winning Evo before mm. the pandemic happened. Late last season, people were like, you know what, this character's slowly creeping up. Oh, See guys like Chris CCH putting in the work, you know, as well. Mm. So it's definitely a character over time where the strengths have been uh, added to her tool set to make her a fierce competitor in this game. But right now, I think she's in a very good place. Definitely. I think Sakura's in a very good place. You know, she used to have a troll loop. I think it was in the corner, right? In like season when she comes, season three. Yeah, um, yeah I think so. Mm, yeah. I think so. Wait, no, she came in season three. Yeah, she didn't really I, work I, back then. Season four. Season four seemed better. But no, it but like... that was taken out in season four. I think it was only in season three. She had like a one frame walk. Uh, yes, I think it. Actually, no, I think it was taken out in season four. I think it was. But again, her throw game is still decent anyway. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. She's more for the chase you down kind of player still. Like, her offense, it's more... Oh, are you dead? Not quite. If you had V Trigger 2, he would have died. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. V Trigger 2 is superior. Low forward, no confirm there, or no even a buff or something there from comps. There. Uh... So he used the blanket ball, and as you can see, it went through the fireball, right? So I can't remember when the projectile invincibility kicks in on that. Mm. I want to say it's frames three. I could be wrong. Let me go and double check. Backwards rolling step. Where are you? Oh, it's from frame one till until landing projectile invincible. That's nuts. EX back step rolling. Yeah. Damn. All right. I see you. Mm. Should probably dab with Blanca a little bit more against fireball characters. All right, tapped in the corner here, but I think that seems actually fine from just playing there. But he's out now, so. Benetik on shake your face. All right, gets the yeah. B skill two and then closed him down. He tried to escape there with the demon flip, but I think the back step rolling actually caught comps out of the sky. Viable. He charged up that B skill once again. How's right, he going to use it this time against comps? Well, the pushback on that's kind of nuts. Yo, double. He's getting hit by all the black balls. Yo. Hang on, he's got to be careful with the fireball now, comes. Otherwise, that's the game. Everything is the game. Oh, boy. What is uh, Kuma's punish oh, game on Blanca? I mean, like the Blanca balls. It doesn't seem to be that strong. It seems very annoying to deal with. Um, I'm not sure if Akuma gets a clean punish. If he doesn't, maybe he just has to forward dash, take advantage of the negative frames, and then mm. probably fling out a sand fierce. Just to make sure he doesn't do anything afterwards. Mm. Uh, maybe try and demon flip to get in, uh, if need be. Uh, I'm actually not too sure because yeah. again, if you, if you're struggling to deal with light blanker ball, then I think blank is gonna have a field day against you. I yeah. think he's actually gonna have a field That's day right. against yeah. you. Definitely. If you can't really punish it, light blanker ball. It's gonna be very hard to make him stop or get any control on him at all. So, yeah, and I mean, it's it, been a thing where there's been tons of things where it's like, right, oh, is it a good matchup, bad matchup? Oh, it's a bad mm. matchup. Why? Because he can punish this one move. I can't <laughs> spam it. I can't yeah. spam it. What you all should be doing is spamming mm. the sign up button on yeah, Salt Mine yeah. League and making sure you watch their streams every Sunday on twitch.tv for slash Salt Mine League. Make sure you follow them on Twitter as well at Salt Mine TV. They do a ranking, uh, they basically do a league, a ranking league, and at the end of the season, Eight players get invited to a invitational tournament, which is very fun to watch. And it's very fun to be a part of. But yeah, if you're in the European region, I don't want no Brazilian Kens. I don't want no American Eds. I just need European players signing up to this event so we can have some fun. And uh, make sure the connection as well. 
Yeah, all right. So oh, just the power is here now. I mean, it's hey. a bit late. <laughs> It's just a power. Shout out to Jester. He comes to join us a little bit late, get some games in, and he's playing Poison as well. Okay, okay. A little yeah. more of the, uh, a little more of the UK guys actually dabbling with this character now. So Problem X has been using her quite a bit recently. Obviously, Jester Power has been using her since release. Uh, Apollo Steve's been using her release as well. So shout out to those guys. Yeah, man, this character. She's still up there. She's still up there. Very strong character in my yeah. top ten personally. Definitely. Um, she closing in with top five or stuck in a outer part of the. I'd say she's for me. She either takes like the seventh spot mm. or maybe the sixth spot. But she is definitely a top ten character. I, I don't like some people put in a top five. I don't know if she's a top five because just the lack of defensive options mm. and the consistency across the board uh, for players using her. This is a very solid character, but you yeah. don't see many people playing her. Not as much as Yurian. Seth, uh, there's still there's, there's been a decline in the tumors, but yeah, but uh, she's uh, newer than those characters too, so it would be it's, it would be strange if she had more representation than some of the more like linear maybe kinds of characters like Urian, like even Seth. Yeah, I, I get what I you mean. mean. I'd like to see more representation uh, for yeah. the character, but again, I. I still think, right, because I know some people, some Poison players disagree with me. Mm. Um, I think she's actually fairly easy to get into. She's just hard to win with. I mean, okay. I, I feel like yeah, getting into her is, I mean, she's more, she's deeper. She has more things than most of the other characters. Yeah, but when it comes right, to, like, okay. tool so set, if how you... to put them up. If you, all right, okay, here, let, me, let me put it to you like this. Final if round. I was to tell you to use Poison for a week, and you yes. understood her tool set, you'll know exactly what to do, and it's really effective. Yes, crouch yes. fierce, poke. Medium mm. heart rate, poke. Crouch medium yeah. punch, anti -air. You don't have to be optimal, you use that, right? And then no, that's all you got to do is learn one or two Vitrigal 1 combos and learn where to use super. Five or six things, and they can take you far. Yeah. Because they're consistent. Obviously, using them in the right situations and whatnot, mm. that will take you more time, more commitment. But I still think getting into this character is fairly easy. But to win with her is hard execution, in my opinion, anyway. I mean, it's hard for me to say, but I do feel like a character that can do 35, 40% in one of her more common situations when she's in the trigger might not be that honest, but I mean, Are you dead? Are you dead? I think Poison's dead! Oh, just about one HP left of the yeah. overhead! Closing it out there for Massey Claw. Now, I'm not a fan of this matchup, but apparently it's, it's even. Some Blanca players will say it's even. I, I don't know. I don't play this matchup, like, at all. So, I have no experience in it. Can you punish Blanca Ball? Uh, you can, but it's, it's very finicky. It's very, very finicky. It's not uh, like you, you do use... EX, uh, the override thing? No, it doesn't work? No, because that's over 20 no. frames, so he can yeah. block in time and it's minus 19. Mm. Uh, I think I can use EX mid heart raid, but I can only pull him in, and I'm not in throw distance. Yeah, so, so it's a bad punish. I can use Super. Super's guaranteed because it's 10 frame startup, but for the mm. most part, it can be a little bit tricky, especially yeah. going into blankable from certain strings. So. Do you know I like um, Poison for just the power a lot more than Claw? Because you know when just power plays Claw, it's a super passive Claw, right? And he does really well with that passive Claw, but I, I don't and think he's, he's, he's Claw's not strength. For it. Yeah, he's I don't think Claw's strength is playing slow. So I was thought it was really cool when he said he's gonna play Birdie, but then he just stopped. And I don't really know why, because it's way better for his style, but now he's at least putting in work. This is the combo I was talking about, by the way, earlier. The hey man, her activation combos damaging. are yes. nothing to be... You shouldn't sleep on these activation yeah. combos because it's because of the burn damage. Whenever you've got burn mm. damage involved, then light scaling is ignored. Um, but yeah, no, I think poison's a. Well, that's why they're so good. Yeah. Yeah, because of the, the burn damage. I, when I do activation they combos, I'm not really fast. Yeah, okay. I'm just getting burn damage. Yeah, yeah, because they don't scale the burn damage. Maybe nope. that's some. Okay. Because I was wondering why Dalsim. It looks just insane when Dalsim also gets you with a combo when you're in that. Um, when you get the burn damage, they just melt away. Yeah, but remember Makes with, uh, with Dalsim, there's no scaling because the the Vitrig one ends it, and then he's mixing you up, and then mm -hmm. that's a fully unscaled combo. In, in addition, yeah, 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 yeah. So burn damage is very annoying to understand in this game. It's actually pretty annoying to understand. And he's just out of range to connect the X Avant line there, Jester, but he gets the Molotov toss. 
anyway. I'm definitely going to have to watch this one back because I think if there's one character I have not gone in training mode to practice against as Poison, it is Blanka. Blanka. It is Blanka. <laughs> because I I just don't run into this guy. When I enter some of these online tournaments, there's a Blanka. And I'm like, well, we're just going to have to learn this on the fly. <laughs> and how does that usually go for you? I always lose. Yeah. <laughs> I always Round lose because I can't anti yeah. Because I can't anti oh, yeah. That's it. Really? It's not even blankets. I can't I mean, anti Just the power was anti though. We just crouched medium punch. Regular jumps. Mm. Get the blanket start zip lining around the screen. Uh, yeah. to tell me you can anti Yeah, it's annoying, definitely. <laughs> but I would also like to see Nassim Flo doing more like empty jumps because he's getting anti air with an anti air that almost goes backwards, you know. If so, you don't press when you jump on poison, there she you whips. go. Oh my god, it's like Nassim listened to what Veggie was saying. Here's the thing to catch out people who don't main poison. Mm. Jump, and then if they crouch medium punch anti air because, oh. they're, because she's not their main, then you know you can empty jump all the time. Yes. Because, it, because it's not it's not muscle memory to the other anti airs. Which is big. Uh, medium punch, heavy punch, EX, core circle back, right? So it's uh it's core circle forward, light kick, the up kick, crouch and medium punch, and then obviously heart raid, the heavy version. So yeah, core yeah. circle back, heavy punch. Because the and other anti airs are not like programmed like muscle memory, they're gonna get caught out. They will always get caught out, trust me. Yeah, yeah, it's great to just neutral jump on most poison players because they're not gonna anti air. I'm gonna just stop anti airing after they get once. Yeah, trust me, I, I know the difference between an average poison player and a good one. Mm -hmm. But uh, the EX move uh, anti airs as well, right? It's like heavy yes. punch, heavy punch. Yeah. Yeah, core circle back. That's one. That one is really good. It's like, a nine frame it, startup, so. But yeah, but it seems to be better than a normal nine frame anti air. Oh, there might be a hit I'm thing. spending a bar, so. Yeah, it's fine. I don't. I mean, it's fine that it's. Good. I mean, uh, it does go very far, but yeah, it's, it's my far reach in anti air. Yeah, Come on now. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and as uh, being uh, that's being talking I about like, poison, nah. we got uh, Nassim Claude taking yeah. that there, two one. So yeah, okay. That, that didn't look how these guys were playing because the, both those characters are not their mains. It mm. didn't look too bad, but again, if you got a blanker main and a poison main to play that. That's when I'd really want to see. So mm -hmm. maybe like your Fudo, your Idom, just really going at it um, against a main blanket player, a very competent one where in their respective regions, just go for it. Because I still need to learn a bit more about that matchup. So, because um, again, Blanka, we're starting to see a little bit more because people are experimental with other characters and some people have weird tastes and they just pick Blanka. But uh, <laughs> it's a thing you just need to have down because- Weird tastes or bad connections maybe. <sighs> Whatever both. you want to say, whatever you want to say, but yes, it's both, both. It's a really bad day. Yeah, they're both uh, precursors, <laughs> precursors <laughs> for a Blanca player. Oh, bad taste man. or bad connection. It's always oh, been right. like that. You can like call a character based on the connection, I'm sure. Let me just change that there. So we're gonna see. I believe Nassim Claw has left us because he has to go. But thank mm. you very much, Nassim, for tuning in and joining us. Obviously TKR as well because he joined us a little bit earlier but had to leave. As well, because these guys have got other things to do. They got work. They got preparation to do for the CPT. I can't wait, man. I actually can't wait to see this one because outside of the uh, East Asia and even the South America, man, I love the South America CPT over the weekend. I can't wait to see my own region, my backyard. Mm. Support the homeboys. I like the right. grand finals of uh, South America. It was yeah, it was great. great. I was great, great set. The way he came back, and then the Rashid came back. Yeah. And how fast some of those like situations and areas were. I was really hyped when I watched that. I thought that was a great decision to uh, I mean not great I mean I thought that was a great top eight. Or at least yeah, the end of it was, no, it was a good topic. Conclusion. Good topic. Yeah. I didn't see all of it so I can't really say, but I watched the end, like the last three, four games. With Choo Choo coming in like the hero for a lot of people. And then the new Rashid guy. He's new, right? I haven't seen him much at least. Maybe yeah. not new, oh, well, yeah, but I mean new to yeah. He's Maybe been not new. for a little while. Yeah, yeah okay. But, but he hasn't been traveling that much, maybe. I think he went to... I think he won an offline event before. Oh, oh really? But I think so, in his own region, of course, but... Okay, yeah. Um, but not like a CPT, maybe. Uh, but he was playing super good, so I'm really, I was really hyped when he won. Because we needed to have a Rashid in Capcom Cup. And it was starting to look bleak, I think. <laughs> we can't All let right. them start the downplay, you know, so... So, we important. got... We got Road 2 Pack uh, coming back on the stage. Isn't that Lucia? Comps for that Akuma again. Has Comps just faced all the unorthodox characters today. Yeah, <laughs> but this might be kind of more more normal, at least for Akuma to deal with, I think. So we get to see more of Comps' strengths. Yeah, which I oh, wanted. 
I I've definitely to see seen earlier. more. Uh, I've definitely seen more Lucia than uh, Blanca. Definitely, yeah, and it's more normal. I think she's a bit strange, but she feels more normal than when you play against Blanca. At least from my personal experience. The only kind of odd thing is that fireball thing. The rest is very linear, I think. No, I think a fireball game is good. I think just people aren't mm. willing to kind of just work on a fireball game to really understand how it works against the entire cast. Um, her V trigger one has been said to be a very cheap knockoff of uh, G's V trigger one because um, he got buffed this version of the game, which is better now. Mm. Um, She's got a lot of moves that can catch you off guard. So Cyclone Spinner, the run into the B skill, the EX version as well, as you can see right there. You know, the breaks, the run the breaks into throw. She's got a very good corner game. I think she's got one of the best corner games in 255 at the moment. Really? I think she has one of the best corner games in this game. Because when she throws you, the frame traps, you got to see it right now. And then her buttons work. There's no way to walk back out of mm. them. I think she's got an incredible corner game. I mean, it looks good at least. Doesn't look bad, but... Street Fighter 5 has a lot of good con think, games. So. Think, think about what Lucia does mid-screen. She has a lack of mid-screen OK, mm. but all her combos take you to the corner. That's right. true. Immediately. And then all of a sudden, bam, she can play the game. Mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, he's had enough. That's why he crushed you. He's had enough. Mm. But yeah, man. Com's taking that game there. I like. Don't, don't get it twisted, right? Lucia does have problems. <laughs> She has problems as yeah, a character. Yeah, I've heard from Lucia <laughs> Maze, at least. Um, when she's got you in the corner, uh, she doesn't even need to be in v when she's just got you in the corner, and she's going to force you with her buttons, her lights, her stand medium, her crouch medium. I think she's a really good character. I think she's a really good character. She has um, great buttons, at least. Good yeah. anti Or anti -ears? I'd say they're decent. They're not bad. Uh, when you try to cross-cut the Light Hurricane Spinner, that could be an issue. Uh, mm. Crouch Fierce is decent at a particular angle. I think she's got good buffers. I actually no, think he's got good buffers. Yeah, crash medium, medium punch. punch. Crash mm. medium kick. I think he can, but you can hit him crash medium kick, so... Alright. Gets that tick throw. Stand light kick. Her stand light kick and stand medium kick are really good pokes as well. They're very hard to deal with. Yeah. They're very hard to deal with. And I mean, her control is more annoying maybe than super good, but... It's something that you have to deal with. I don't know, you know, because I think her control comes from being full screen, but mm. that's not really where she wants to be. So can you call it control? Uh, it's a good question, but I also think that it's worth m mentioning that when uh, Lucia's do the fireball thing to get in, there is a lot of characters that has forward moving specials that you can kind of like just do. Yeah, and if she does the mid fireball, okay, you get hit, but whatever. But you make her a lot more scared to do like the low fireball or the bouncing fireball oh, yeah, to get course, closer. Because a lot of people just they just respect the fireball, not really thinking that you're carrying, you do V skill. You see it, you just do V skill. Maybe you get hit sometimes, but that hit doesn't matter. What matters is if she gets, gets close. But if you just do the V skill, and she did like the high fireball, you, you get her knocked down and you get her, you get in, right? Yeah. So. Characters with those forward advancing specials that are like safe fish on block or safe on block, I feel they can deal with that kind of part of her game. And it's something that you get used to by just spamming games against any kind of Lucia. Yeah, I could definitely agree. Uh, I could mm. jump aboard what Beggy is saying there. Um, guess that V reversal there will two pack. Another demon flip there from Comps. He's going to need to get a hard knockdown or something, but I uh, Oh, good hit Fireball, but he had to do that to stop himself from getting killed. You have to do this honestly now. Oh, I didn't think I'd say that with a Kuma. Okay. Yeah. Damn, somehow he's called his way back. They've just been his. Somehow he's called his way back. If he whip punished that, that would have been mm. the game. And there, oh, as you said, man. Will Tupac doesn't tech, and he didn't tech again. He doesn't. No. He doesn't. So he gave him away. I mean, he's tried to shimmy him a lot. Maybe he should uh, notice that he's not teching. You and, gotta throw him, man. Yeah. You gotta throw him. I mean, he did backdash there, so I mean, even a delay frame trap would have worked. Yeah. Shimmy is like, Shimmy is strong, but sometimes I feel people are just giving away frames so easily just because they're like, oh, this Shimmy will do so much damage. But at the same time, you're taking away from your advantage you had. The only thing it's, it beats is someone teching. It's like, so frame traps are stronger. Yeah, they're, do they're more much frame stronger, traps. Yeah. But I think Shimmy needs to be... The thing is, people think Shimmy's are guaranteed yes. <laughs> near, no, near stun or near death. Mm. Other situations I find it a bit weird, but as uh, Veggie says, it's like they're trying to see the huge amount of damage they could potentially mm -hmm. land. 
So they're that's giving up actually something that's more consistent and more solid. Yeah. But against a guy like Will Tupac, he hasn't been teching and the shimmy's not working. You've got to do something else, man. Yeah, and these stop. are the most annoying guys to fight because it's like, damn, he wants me to throw him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Throw him or get, in, get those frame traps down. So. He's dead. Oh, no, he isn't. No, he's dead. <laughs> I think you've been wrong on every single he's dead today. Because, uh, listen, I'm telling you, these, some of these combos do more damage than you think. Yes, but not more damage than you think, I think. I know, Maybe right? today. I've had a long day. Yeah. No, I've I'm had a kidding. very long day. Yeah. But um, I, I expect everything to kill Akuma, to be honest. Yeah, because he's low health. Yeah. No, but he got 25 health, so don't don't forget about that. Well, he's, he's got the last time though, in the game yeah. now, so. No, that's true. He lost it, actually. No, he didn't lose it. No, not had... now, but he, I mean, he lost in like, you no, know, he got, he went from 800 to 825, was that it? No, he, yeah, he went from 875 to 900 and he never got a health increase again. Okay, okay, so 900 is low. Hmm. 900 is the lowest in the game. So. It's not too bad though, 900. When you uh, do... I, I think that's kind of bad. <laughs> I mean, when you do, there's another neutral gem shimmy. Shimmy shimmy, yeah. Alright, there you go. Hmm. Oh, and I then he tech. There As you go. said, Shimmy is guaranteed when they're close to stun or death. Maybe that's the way to Shimmy and Will to die. Oh, at listen, e everybody will flinch there. I guarantee you, everybody will flinch there at least once. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, he can throw me to win the game. That's it, you can win the game. Yeah. All right, walks under. And again, Kax has got amazing walk speed forwards mm. and backwards there. Yeah. yeah. She has great mobility though, so it's definitely a good strength from her. Yeah, Nassim actually tried her out as well for a little bit. <laughs> That's really Nassim, just pick characters with good mobility. <laughs> People he can play, maybe elusive with, yeah. Oh, what was that? Okay, he said he oh. as well. So, the stand medium punch, what's that on block? Uh, plus three. Yo. So you can't and... back, if she does another one, you can't back that shit. Uh, but she can't do anything after. Oh, no, what? Did he, did he give up? Did he give up? I, it's a good I question. He maybe he thought he was dead. Lucia. Yeah, maybe he thought the combo or Maybe, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so... Would you call this pack? character low tier though? Lucia? Low tier? Like, some, low some, tier. Some people, some people will have her in, a, in their bottom five. I think someone has pegged as the worst character in the game. I, I don't think she's the worst. worst character in the game. She's better than Alex. Um, but... <sighs> is she low tier? I'd have to go through all her tools. I know her, t like on paper, she's really good. Because when she came out, it was like, yeah, Lucy's the best of the three characters that came out, Poison, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. And then look how that <laughs> turned out. Look how that turned out. Didn't turn yeah. out very good. Um, <laughs> on paper, she sounds amazing, but yeah. in the game, practicality-wise, it's just not as successful as other characters. And again, the games, believe it or not, the games kind of slowed down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, definitely. More since... damage is available, but it's kind of slowed down a little bit. It's slowed um, down a lot, I think, since, depending on which season you consider, but yeah. even since last season, it slowed down, and the season before that, it was slow. It slowed down every season. So only a little bit, though. Only yeah, a tad yeah. little bit. But if you go from season one to season five or whatever season they call this, oh, cool! Just a problem for your sheet. Okay, okay. Anyway, okay. yeah. So Actually, if you do no, season agree, one to season five, this. yeah, there's a big slowdown. Yeah. So. so this is the other character that. Jester power has been a, a little bit of time into. So if you look at his roster overall, um, it is Vega, Poison, and Rashid. Interesting trio, but if anything, he would have to get rid of Vega. Yeah. He would have to get rid of Vega. Do and even use... then, Poison and Rashid, you, you could probably only use Rashid if you really wanted to. Hmm. Oh, you got him. So I want to see how this is coming along yeah. uh, for Jester's. Sorry, uh, Jester's uh, Rashid. Jammers, did you hear that Capcom will do a showcase of the new mechanic somewhere at the end of October? Nope, that is news to me. And even if that was the case, Capcom would never tell me, and I'd never tell you guys anyway. So I actually do not know anything regarding that new mechanic. You guys should be happy that we saw some damn footage over the weekend. And there's going to be another costume contest as well. So maybe we might get another a double Ed costume you know what, this time around. You know what I want for the last character Talk that is not announced yet? I want a Viking, not a Viking, but I want like a Scandinavian character because uh, there's still no Scandinavian character. I don't know if we talked about this last time, but I wanted to I talk about it. I think we talked about it off stream. Yeah. Oh yeah, off stream, exactly. But now we're on stream. We need a Scandinavian character.
because there's a lot of Scandinavian players now. And, and Scandinavia is a big place. It's like five countries like Finland, yeah. Norway, Denmark, Sweden, and Iceland, right? Yeah. So, um, and we have like the same heritages. We have like the same stories, the same books. Maybe not the same books, but similar stories. Some, somewhat similar. Yeah. So we could definitely get like a unified character for all of us that could make us feel like, yeah, we have a character in this game too. Yeah, no. I think that's something we need. Mm. He's not going to activate V Trigger 2 yet. He was just getting absolutely battered and slobber knocked in the corner there. Lucia no V Trigger, wins. no CA used. He died with full resources. That, you know, that's probably worse than just losing. It's losing with resources. Like, damn, I didn't even try anything. Mm. Wake up Super or wake Where's up the Spinner Mixer, uh, you know. The worst is if you uh, consider you're considering doing wake up super and you're like nah I'm gonna do it and your hands don't and, do it your and and you do yeah it. <laughs> and then it would have worked and you dying with a full bar and you're like ah oh, man just listen to yourself man I think you're less likely to listen do it if your super yourself. doesn't give you mm. I think you're less likely to do it if your super doesn't give you okay mm. I think you're less likely to do it if you if it doesn't give you okay, yeah. so. but I mean if it kills it kills right if it kills it kills if it kills it kills so in that sense it would be good but yeah definitely i understand that because the reward isn't really that Ooh, high even. he gets the activation of a delayed stan hard kick. i love that i see moke and gachi could do that all the time and i cannot believe how successful it is but boy does it work <laughs> boy does it work wake up buttons can you get a side swap here or something just to power good back that's there from will two pack into the grab yeah because he's as you said more likely to not take this throw there you go. Mm -hmm. Looking good here for Will 2 pack. Looking to close it out. Yeah, I'm starting to like the your coaching. It's been working well. I mean, they haven't listened to you, but uh, maybe they should have been watching while they're being queued up. Hey man, just I to think get some I, tips from I the man himself. Watch this game in unhealthy amounts. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so sometimes I seem like a fortune teller. Other times I look like a complete clown. <laughs> and there you go. Mm. And again, it's just the third person perspective yeah. thing. It's just that second pair of eyes. Like, oh, yeah, just do this. Ah, and then it's it like, we're at the yeah. moment. You know what I mean? So. Right, I mean, you did okay. teach both Luffy and Salty Kid to play Mika, so. Shh, don't tell them that. No. Don't, don't, tell, the, don't, don't tell the people that. Because I missed that meme. That was the best meme. Uh, apparently, I've ditched the Mika army and I'm about to raise the poison army. So, uh, if you nice. want to know who the real mastermind behind Street Fighter is, it might actually be me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least with the more obscure characters, maybe. Maybe. Not very obscure, just slightly obscure. A little bit obscure. Like Poison, <laughs> like Mika. They're like semi obscure. Right? Yeah. Mika's kind of like Zangief with a fast movement. Or it's, fast it's, just, it's, it's, a, it's a fast moving Zangief. That's yeah, it's weird. very strange. <laughs> She's so weird. And she has kind of better Oki than him, too. It's. Uh, yeah. yeah, but that, that one command grab doesn't necessarily win you the game. With Zangief, that could be good. I mean, that, Zangief that needs four, though. Four SPDs, right? Listen, that whole situation is just great for him. Absolutely amazing. I know it's Brimstone's good, really good as yeah. well because it takes you close to the corner, but heavy SPD and the lengths that the Zangief players are willing to go through to get that, a little bit different. A mm. little bit different. Mm. And he's got more health to work with. So if it misses, he's still in the fight, baby. He's still mm. in the fight. But you know, uh, if Mika does, I think it's three command throws from left to right corner. Could that be correct? I think it is correct. It's three. I believe it's yeah. three. Yeah, you know that's... why you bring that up? No, actually, yeah. three or four? No, it is three because we did check at once. Uh, this was ages ago yeah. that we done this. Yeah, oh, but man. it was like, there was like a crew, uh, gang of people because everyone was like playing yeah, MFD I, I remember, a tournament. It, it, it was the uh, yeah. we were looking at the V skill, the Brimstone. Yeah. I remember this. I think it's Head the, Stomper. Yeah. And so if she's cornered, it's obviously one because she does the heavy or the yeah. EX one, right? But if like from left to right, three command throws, and then she has that corner with the sick Oki on both hit, and I think of that's kind of better than Zangief though. Of course. Yo, China, the second place poison now. Oh, he, he spoke about been that a sub yeah, okay. yeah, it's been a sub character for a little while. He played uh, Lord too, didn't he? Yeah, he, he played, played Lord Lord. first. Yeah. That's when I first knew about him. He changed yeah, the I remember that. He's picked up, uh, he's picked up Poison as a secondary. Someone's asked which character do I want personally to be the fifth character. Um, Fei Long. Either Fei Long, Dudley, or Viper. No. Or if I, if, I really, if I really had my way, I wouldn't mind a guest character. But that's just wishful thinking. Uh, but if you have to be someone within the realms of Street Fire, then probably one of those two. 
What about T Hawk? No. Definitely not. So you'd like Viper but not T Hawk? Yep. Because I like my female characters, so I'll uh, definitely use Viper. I will not use T Hawk and I don't like watching T Hawk. Sorry, no, I, don't, I, don't, out there. I don't like watching T Hawk either. He's, uh, it's, I understand why he's not in the game. I don't think he was very popular either. It was very seldom you'd see anyone. Whoa, oh, jabbing that over. Yeah, no, don't but, worry. Uh, yeah. I think Will Q Pack's a little bit more versed in this matchup now uh, after a couple of games that we played. Uh, oh, yeah, you But here's the thing where China has definitely changed his approach to this character. He should have stunned. God damn it, China. If you'd done the medium heart rate of the Molotov, you would have stunned him. Uh, you would have stunned him. So if you lose this round, it's on you. It's on you. It's mm. actually on you if you lose this round now. But uh, he used to use V-Skilled 1 and V-Trigger 2. I don't mind the V-Trigger 2, mm. but the V-Trigger, the, the V-Skill 1 was a big issue because how Poison plays this game now, to yeah. win you need V-Skill 2. Yeah, because that's um, a big change. That's why she got so good, right? Because yeah, she gets it's, Okino. It's, she's yeah. a complete character yeah, with this V-Skill 2. Mm. And it's got amazing uses defensively as well. I mean, you say complete, but I kind of feel like her design was Dalsim and not stylish, right? So when it's a better she Falc. got... For me, it's yeah. a better Falc. It I mean, a better uh, Falc. we can talk about Falc. Too, actually, yeah. I mean, she's good, right? What do you think about Falk? Well, I mean, I, I played her for like a year and a half. Um, I really enjoy the character and how she works, but for me, I couldn't make her work in Street Fighter V. Mm. And she has her problems, and she has a lot of bad matchups. Some of them are actually similar to Poison's, but Poison's got a much more threatening tool set in the neutral, I believe. Uh, but Falk has more availability, not availability, she has more options to jump mm. because she can delay her landing or chain. Poison yeah. can't really do that. So. A kind of a di yeah, different kind of zone. I mean, there is the same kind of zoning, but it, I feel like Mana Poison Ooh, and uh, all of those three. He's gonna throw. Poison yeah. can't do a lot in this situation. Oh, the situation. The shimmy. He's not dead yet. Yeah. He's not dead yet. Good blocks. I was trying to get activate. Good, good hard feed. He's gonna throw the Molotov. Oh, he got the. No, he's too far. Can I respect him. He wanted to be optimal. Super there. You can do super because the if you're too far from the uh, Avant line, then you have to be raw super. Oh, you could have there. there as well! Uh, he's China still learning. Second. He's still learning. Because mm. one thing you need to do yes. is yeah, if wait. you're going to throw the Molotov on block, yeah. you have to think it's going to hit. You mm. have to think it's going to hit. Mm. Obviously, you learn to confirm it, but you have to assume the guy's going to get hit. Because yeah. some people are actually trying to punish your other move that you're making safe, or trying to blow through with something else. And both Molotovs that China threw on block there, they hit. And he didn't get the confirmations that he needed to even reduce the deficit or win the game there. So he still has a chance. Like getting used to, that's more of a getting used to problem because it, I don't feel like that's a very hard thing to confirm probably. So it's more of those, you know, when you're starting the new character. I don't know how long he's been playing Poison. Um, I'd, say, I'd say a couple of months now, but this B system layout, I don't think he's been playing that long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he, de he definitely is still learning. Yeah, as you spoke about, I really like the V School 2 for her. I mean, uh, for her as a character, because obviously she's now both a zoner and an aggressor. So, of course. And she, ha and she has the damage of someone who's only zoning, because her damage is like still the same, right? As yeah. it was last season. So She just got a, she got better combos. Yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah, okay. But that infamous yeah. two bar mm. Capcom Cut winning combo is still there. Please kill. Haven't line! Oh my <laughs> word! Oh, that's the second time is Tech done dead. You're oh, onto something, man. man. You know these players. I think you watch them a bit too much. Maybe it's not well, healthy for you. Stop I play. It. I play the game. Listen, I'm on CFN way yeah. more than anybody else in the world. I actually think I'm on CFN way more than anybody else in the world. But um, I've noticed, even because I'm playing the game a little bit more now, yeah. I know where people are actually naturally taking. I know mm. where they're naturally taking. Um, I think that's a thing, a hard thing to always know or to figure out. If you can early like decipher who's gonna tech and who's not, you're gonna win games. Oh my god! Like, you can you way. can tell through one interaction, one plus two or plus three interaction. I think you can tell how the game's gonna go. Hmm. I, I definitely think you can tell the game's gonna go. But then again, it's a guess at the end of the day. So it is. But I know what you mean. Ooh. Definitely. Try to crouch this. Yeah. Don't worry, uh, China is still learning this V-System layout for Poison because before, like I said, China was oh. using V-Trigger v 2 and V-Skill 1 mm. and he was getting a stern telling off for using V-Skill 1. <laughs> I mean, V-Skill 1 still has its uses like in particular matchups, but overall, if you're looking to win, you have got to pick Cartwheel. You have got to pick Cartwheel. Uh, definitely. Yeah. V-Skill 1 is 
it's you know, the mighty swing. Something I saw earlier, which was interesting from China, is he's still, you know, his Abigail is anti rearing with his crouch fierce, and he was yeah. still anti rearing with crouch fierce when he's playing out and uh, poison. Muscle memory, so, man. Yeah, the, definitely. He might get so back throw here. Nah, he should have oh. gone for a throw. There it is. Can he get another one? I think he should try and throw. We'll two back now, but yeah. if he doesn't back prize, he's dead. If he doesn't back prize, he's dead. There you go. Go, we'll keep back. Nice. Nice. See, this is why I like China. This is why I like China. He's he does things that other people don't. And if he can just do that, and the other things that people do do, yeah, that's the next step. As you spoke of, because he does things that other other players don't. So he just needs to do that and the other. I know. And the other. I know Veggie could see the potential in China. I know he could see Since 2018. December or no November is that what AGX match against Gamer B. Uh, I've been a I fan. I have yeah, been yeah. a fan since then. I, I like watching this guy play. I'm hyped oh, that he's here today. Yeah, definitely. Hey, listen, he's, he's been man. he's been on the level up. Uh, he has been asking, or the team he's sponsored by, I believe, they've been uh, organizing actually training sessions for him. So oh, they'll nice. ask people for first to fives, first to tens. He's featured on Damascus Wanted as well. Um, so oh, he could get the level up. Yeah. And because like people are at home now, he's got more access to players he could normally play before. Yeah. So. Alright, he's gonna have to be careful this throw for Will 2 pack. Can he confirm? There's a throw. That's what I was saying. Gotta do something. But I feel like sometimes when you take the throw for death, you can be a little bit proud of yourself. Because you did no, something. No, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I, I think it's an even when you die, it's like, you know what? I actually, at least I took it right. Here's the thing. I say like, okay, even if the throw does kill you. If you know you've kind of lost and you can't make a comeback, just look towards the next round. See yeah. how you can like kind of make it easy for you at the start of the next mm. round. Uh, mo most people don't actually Yeah, that's do that. also true. Yeah. The average player doesn't do that. They don't actually look towards the next no. round. They're like, oh my god, I need yeah. to win and win and win. It's like, no, listen, you lot are not thinking long term. Long term's actually a big deal in this game, despite how fast it is. It's looking really good for China right now. Yeah. Don't overextend. Kind of close the gap with cartwheel. I don't worry, Will 2 pack does this against Poison a lot. He'll stand outside uh, Crouch Fierce range oh. and he'll run in and out and try and catch you with the B skill. And put you right back in the corner. Alright, are we going to see a V reversal here? Is he going to be stubborn and try and activate V trigger 1 here? Can it? Oh, that would have been the game! Oh, he trying to press Fierce? Why are you trying to press Fierce? China. So close. So close. I saw a little bit of Abigail yeah. there. I saw a little bit of Abigail mm. on defense there throwing out those Fierces. It can happen. But um, but it's a big it, thing it, though, learning to play either multiple games or multiple characters, oh, it's, and then it's not man. reverting to muscle memory. It's some of the worst. Sometimes, yeah. Hey, so, listen, do you know how many times that's one I've of the tried, biggest. I've tried poison. I've tried. Uh, it happened when I was playing. See, the lucky one of the reasons why I changed from Mika to poison is when I do crouch and medium punch, muscle memory, the anti air was still the same. Yeah, yeah. It's so I was alright. But when I went to Colleen, Cami. G and I saw someone jump, I was like, crap's medium points. I was like, damn it. Mm. And every time I do the wrong anti I literally just shout poison. I literally just shout poison. <laughs> because it, it it reminds me that it's poison's anti air, not the other okay, character's okay. anti air. Do you know what I mean? So uh, uh, let me I mean, yeah, okay. That's 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 just me. It's just mm, my like mm. my, my special word to yeah. tell you that it's not <laughs> it's not poison. No. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. All right, so who we got jumping up next? I think we got time for probably one or two more. Nice. Um, let's see how this goes. Because I know it's still it is, in the it is, lobby. It's a little bit late for you, isn't it? Well, for me, it's 1.26 a.m. right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, you so could be sleeping. Yeah. I could <laughs> be, be, but sleeping. I could also be awake. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But it started oh, late, man. right? So we run a bit later. Yeah. Uh, so we still got comps here. We'll see Pat. Mm. I think China's still here. So we'll see nice. if we can get like two more going. And then... Yeah. Uh, We'll kind of close it out. So it's those three who are left now. I think so. I think there's one more. I think Jester was still here as well. Uh, okay, nice. Is Jester playing now? I don't think so. No, he might be after this one. So. I would I'd like to see Confs not go for an Olo Shimmies this time. I'd like to see him realizing by himself that, oh shit, I kept on not getting, like, not throwing, and he just you... kept on escaping. You'd, you'd be surprised when Confs has actually been going for a shimmy. 90% of the players he fights, they actually work. So yeah, but, yeah. I, I don't blame him. Mm. Here's the thing what I've said before about this game, right? Or playing fighting games in general. 
One thing you do which might work against 90% of the people you're fighting against, it's fine, but then what happens when you fight that small fraction that mm -hmm. knows how to counter it, don't do anything? Was it real in the first place? What he's doing is not wrong. It's just that this one guy that's not taking today. You know, I mean? no, it's not wrong in general. I agree, but I feel like it's been like two games in this. I feel like this. If he can find this for himself, he will definitely. Like that's a big thing for him to do going forward too. Noticing that he's kind of like flow charting a bit just on that part of the game. That, okay, I see what you mean. I see. So he should like maybe after Will to Pat continuously has stopped been there like his neutral jump shimmy normal shimmy all those things should start just like okay i'm just gonna throw even if they take once i'm just gonna continue throwing now and just so, and again just Kuma's need forward, to do it. yeah yeah it's good especially in the corner yeah especially in the corner right it's still good like minus four situation woke up stand fears oh he's got to get a big punish here does it off the target combo mm. roundhouse and so again, even I... even with that tech i think you should throw again because that tech is like likely to be more of a uh, like a one thing. It's not the common for him, I feel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe it's the tech he does to make you stop throwing. Like, maybe that's his plan. Maybe. Just keep throwing, yeah. Maybe. Throw it! Just throw it! <laughs> China's throw saying, it. I'll need to hit you up at some point for some poison advice. Listen, my DMs are always open. Uh, if you want me to, if you want help with poison and I can give you the advice, I'll try to. Uh, if you want to tell me how bad my poison is, I'm all ears as well. <laughs> Good hurricane spinner there from Will mm. Two back yeah. to close Why out not? that round. But yeah, I think um, Will Two Pack style is very uh, it's very annoying for a lot of European mm. players because it actually throws off a lot of people. It's similar between the characters he plays. Their tool set's different, but a lot of people can handle it. A lot of people cannot handle how Will Two Pack plays this game. So once you find that kind of like that pattern or that rhythm he mm. has. I, I, it's easier to manage, but then again, it's definitely you, a rhythm thing, yeah. Yeah, for the most part, when you face Will Two Pack the first time, I guarantee you he'll beat you mm. because you actually don't know what he's doing. You think that is a uh, from his uh, other kind of fighting games background that he used to play before? Well, and he's he's before. always been a very like you yeah. know, active characters, mm, even yeah. the history you know him for, right? I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure he's always played active characters. Yeah, he played so, uh, Wiper right when we played yeah. before, so. And he's and played Rashid in this game, he's played Laura, yeah, he's that's played true. Lucia, he's played Seth, yeah. so... He actually did some good stuff with Rashid a couple of times, so... Yeah, he did. I remember he beat Smug at uh, UFA. Yeah, I remember last that, year, that was so... really cool. Yeah. I remember so that it, very it, it, well. So, the best way I explain it is got to look mm. at... This is no disrespect to Will Tupac, but you got to look at it as it's fake, because you have to identify two or three moves that he actually wants to do and look out for those moves. Mm. Everything else, you just have to try and ignore. Okay, okay. Yeah, so because he's like trying the... to... Mm. Think about it, right? He runs away to run in and knock you down. That's he'll true. get that one yeah. jump, which you should be looking for the jump anyway, and then he'll throw a couple of fireballs trying to throw you off. If you oh, look for those yeah. one or two moves, then the rest of what he's doing, you just try to ignore it. But then again, easier said than done, so... Definitely. And I mean, there's a bit more to it, but I definitely agree that that's what we've seen a lot of that today, that Runaway's been kind of more like to get you annoyed, and then as you say, he just gets in there, right? He, he comes right in and then you're in the corner. Look at that. He's potentially super fun. Yeah. So he plays like a very infiltration style with this character in particular, I think. Because that's the thing I feel in infiltration would do with these kinds of characters. Like the fake Runaway, just to get in. Yeah. Oh, that's and insane. there it is, staggered wow. pressure with the standing medium punch. I think more oh, people should yeah, try yeah. to um, mm. more people should try to backdash Lucy's stand medium punch because it's plus three on block. So if she has another one, you try to backdash, it doesn't work. Mm. But she actually can't do anything after that. She can only press stand medium punch. Like she can't, no button will connect after she has the second one. Okay, okay. Um, and then again, because Will Tupac likes to do a lot of staggered pressure. So mm. you just like run out and then go back to neutral and let him play his game in neutral, try and counter it. So there is a little bit of things, a little bit of chinks in his armor there, but for the most part, he's making Lucia work right now. Making Lucia work. Right, who have we got? I think it's Jester Power. So we, yeah, yeah, we've got Jester Power. So we'll make this the last one. Okay. And then we Just the Power and Wultubak. Wultubak is still back. Yeah. Yeah, he's still here. Nice. Yeah. So uh, thoughts on... Claw? Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe he. I think. Uh, we'll, I think Jester was saying if two pack wins, I'll pick poison. If comps win, I'll go Vega VT two. So we probably mm -hmm. gonna be seeing some more poison. Mm -hmm. That's good That's nice. for me because I like to yeah. watch the guys playing poison. Um, it's plus three. You can't backdash. So what I was saying, comps, yes. is 
<laughs> That's what so, it is. Yes, you can't backdash, but if, she, if the second stand medium punch hits, what she does after that won't get you. Like, that's what I was saying. <laughs> So it's only if you get like stunned or die death from that that Basically, it's a problem. Yeah. So since she can't convert, is what you're saying, right? Yeah. She won't convert from the second stand medium punch, so it's not and, really and, a problem. Unless you mm. try and challenge, and she can get uh, if she gets a counter hit stand medium punch, yeah. I think she can get a sweep afterwards, which I don't think that's gonna happen. But yeah. we'll see. Nice. Thoughts I like on... this pick for Jester. Yeah. Really do. Thoughts on Fudo winning TGS with Poison during the weekend? It's great. He used Poison and Mika over the weekend, but for the most part, we saw, uh, we saw a lot of uh, the Poison play, which was great to see. I need to see the grand final against Rashid, though. I didn't see that, so I want to learn some things and how uh, Fudo handles the Rashid matchup. So I'm pretty bad at that. So. Yeah. so you're where we were last year, saying, yeah, yeah, he did well with Birdie, but he also played Mika, don't forget. People forget he played Mika. Yeah. No, they don't, but I mean, like, the way they're now talking about poison is the same way they talked about the bird last year, last oh, year yeah. I guess. Oh, yeah. I mean, having a counter pick for bad matches like that makes the character look even stronger. Oh, for sure. Mm. And really it's annoying, yeah. Good matchups. Exactly, and at the end of the tournament, probably a lot of good matches for poison, which is why poison was the character pick, because she deals with the top tiers, right? For him, at least. Yeah. Of course. And that's when you see it. You don't get to see the early games against the obscure characters when Mika's out to play. Alright, looking good. That's a punish on that mm. Cyclone Spinner. It's minus 8, but Jessa was a little bit too late to the punch there. She's going to block it out. No anti-air on the jump. And again, Lucia can't change her jump up, so it's relatively easy for boys to anti-air Lucia, but it's the timing and uh, expecting it, I should say. Because mm. her grounded tools are actually pretty annoying to look out for. So. Right, there's like a crush count, a good shout. That was actually a very good choice because um, Will Two Pack likes to press buttons after that minus four situation. So, and Hard Kick is a very good choice to do in that. If he throws the fireball, he's dead. Hmm. <gasps> the shimmy is going to go for it. Full combo, Tornado Spin always to the corner. He's still got Super there, ready and waiting. How would you deal with uh, just the fireball game if that all oh, there is again? If that was all Will Two Pack was doing? Uh, so you can do EX Love Me Lucia. Tender, uh, that's guaranteed, oh, yeah. Super is guaranteed as well. Uh, if he goes mm. for the uh, the light version of the flipper shot, so the upwards one, yeah. if you're at a particular distance, you can cartwheel under and catch her. You can cartwheel so, under and you get yeah. a full grounded combo. Uh, it's actually not easy to do, but if you're on point, then you can catch it. But for so the most part, like you, you would do it. Yeah. Even I suck at doing it. I tried to do it in training, but I don't think I get the timing down because Will Two Pack is really good at mixing up his timings. Yeah. So no, I, I don't think I would do that. I think the EX, uh, low, the overhead is low, low me kind of right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I definitely use that more. Guaranteed all the time. Yeah. But then it's like you can use the bar, but then when you get in, you don't have any bar to apply pressure with uh, EX mid heart rate. Yeah. That's actually pretty decent. So remember, Poison, Poison's meter gain is amazing, and it's she's actually very uh, her meter moves are actually pretty optional. You don't have to use them. It's up to you when you use them. So. Right, there we go. See, this is what I'm saying. Will Tupac stands outside that crouch fist, that medium heart rate range. He gets you frustrated thinking, well, I'm playing yeah. at the wrong range. And then when you try to walk forward, he's going to do the slide. Yeah. He's going to do the cyclone spinner. Or he's going to do something to watch what's going to happen. He's going to come in in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Slide. Close the gap. There you and go. And then they jump. Yeah. And that's all you've got to look out for. Mm. You've got to look out for the jump, the V skill, and the fireball as well. So, okay, so you would still look for the fireball. You wouldn't ignore it completely. You won't ignore it completely, but you can react to it because you have meter to do so. Yeah, yeah. But it's I still, you, I mean, blocking fireballs is fine, right? So I'd still do that, I guess. Yeah, plus three. The activation there, and again, good defense here from... Oh, he could have done big damage there, Jester. And an unfortunate, he pressed the wrong jump mm. button. I don't blame him for going for that, but I think Will Tupac literally just got under him at the right time. Luck was on his side and puts him at match point here. I think one of the... Uh, Lucia has a really good walk under. It's just something yes. about her heart, her box, that when she walks under, she'll get you way more than like the average character will. Yeah. Hold on, he's not dead yet. One reset will do the trick. Good, more, ja good jab check. I knew because he was thinking a shimmy was coming there, Jester. So I like that jab check. Hang on. <gasps> He's dead! He's nice. dead! Nice end here. Hardkick taking the game. Will Tupac getting that anti-air off the V skill from the run. 
into the critical art. I'm telling you, the one time you think you can jump on Will 2 pack, you wins. happen to just land into something. Yeah. Trust me, it happens <laughs> to the best of us. But Will 2 pack taking it there. Over just to power with his Lucia. 2-0 in that set there. I'm learning this matchup right now. Listen, I'm just going to give you a word of advice. Definitely dab with Lucia or learn it because Will 2 pack is out to catch people out. And if you figure out his Lucia, there's a Seth waiting for you. <laughs> there is a Seth waiting for you. So um, more or less, and yeah, that's it. There you nice. go. And then again, so I believe it was Nassim Claw with the black. Was, of the yeah, game. with the highest win streak of the night. So shout out to Nassim Claw. Thanks again. He had to leave early. Um, I mean, not early though. Streak. But yeah. Oh, well, not early, but like yeah. I mean, after hours, even point, after so. after hours, yeah. So hey, listen. Some people don't play Street Fighter Plus one o'clock in the morning. No. I, I I respect it. I respect it. We're at home. Bed's just there. So. What? Um, I mean, it's up to you if you want to do that. Uh, but actually, there's uh, there's no CPT this weekend. There's only going to be a fighting words and no CPT this weekend. So, because there's a break. So I imagine. Oh, we're just talking about stream team right now. He wanted to know if we wanted to go for the CPT ban stuff. But the next one's going to be uh, not this weekend, but next weekend regarding uh, Western Europe. The signups are still available. If we can get that splash page up, that'd be absolutely fantastic there to make sure people who can still sign up do. There you go. So signups end on the 5th of October. Make sure you're signing up. I want to see the number bigger than last time. And then a week later, Central America, their signups will close on the 12th of October. I want to see if we can get any numbers higher than 377, which was for the South America 2. Great event to watch over the weekend there as well. And as you can see, this is the upcoming schedule, the timetable for the CPT. Europe West, 10th to 11th of October. A week later, Central America. Then a week after that, it's going to be some of the finest games you'll see on the planet. And make sure you follow Catcom Fires on all their following social media outlets, the Twitter, the YouTube, and the Twitch there. And well, I guess if you want to look at them on Facebook, you can. But there's no TikTok <laughs> for us. If you want to look at them, if you want, you can. But like, make sure you're tuned in on the Twitch or the YouTube and follow the Twitter yeah, account to make sure definitely. when things are going live there as well. But yes. Thank you very much for all your patience, uh, everyone that has been watching, and thank you for sticking around, having a chat with us, myself and Veggie, talking over some Street Fighter V. Veggie, you got any last words before we have to depart? No. I uh, just want to say good night. And, uh, I mean, not everyone is going to be sleeping, but at least to the people who are, good night <laughs> and have a nice one, I guess. I'm, I'm so glad he didn't say pick yeah. birdie. I'm very oh, glad yeah, he didn't say pick no, birdie. No, but don't, because uh, that's a terrible decision if you <laughs> if you value your sanity. sanity. <laughs> yeah, you're saying you don't pick that character. If you, no, just don't. Not now. Maybe maybe soon. Words don't of a man sponsored yeah. by Nordivin. Richard, do we still have that trailer that we can play before we leave? All right, we're going to love you and leave you, but before you go... We're going to see this trailer. So we'll see you guys next week, but the trailer's going to play as we close out. So myself and Veggie are going to love you and leave you. And then, guys, we'll see you next week. Take care.